Hi. Smoke weed. I think I should probably start doing that. Have you ever played three hours of Undertale? No. Thank God. <laughs> well, let's play three hours of this. What do you say? Oh, no. That's just as bad, if not worse. I'll be able to tell you after this. Uh, so we are heading into... In <laughs> we're heading into the void. How do you feel about that? So we've passed the... Uh, the schizophrenic mandatory 30 mission long shit because we can't publish a game that isn't 30 missions long because someone will cry. But now we're heading into Metzen is getting fired because everybody realized that they can just have a JavaScript do what he does except better. And they have his uh, dartboard down to a science in the intern office. But Metzen has to have one last hurrah and make this game all about him and his desperate bid to become not an incel. <sighs> if we had just left StarCraft 2 as it was, that smoldering crater filled with rancid grape drank and pieces of cacti. Maybe we could forget about it. But after experiencing this, well, you'll learn that some scars just don't heal. Well, I got some text for you to read at least. Oh, wait, no, hold on. This is actually for after the... We gotta start first. Here's some text. Beckoned by Kerrigan's psionic transmission, a group of Terran and Protoss forces have convened in Ulnar, the desolate homeworld of the Zernaka. Their purpose remains unclear. Gathering within the Spear of the Dunes War Council, Rainer and Artinus now at the arrival of the Queer of Blades. And then began the orgy. I like how the Terrans weren't even referenced in that ending cutscene that we watched before in the last video. No, nope. they're just here because, well, we can't have Metzen's spur gang without Metzen's self-insert. But it can't be a self-insert unless he fully replicates Metzen, which means we need that Prozac, we need that meth. We need that fucking soulless marketer grin that he's got. And we need that tip. I've got a perfect image for that. The Protoss are excellent at pushing into dangerous locations like kindergartens and destroying all opposition like those fucking oppressive cis white males in the fucking right wing that call them pedophiles. Be the vanguard for your allies on this mission. Man, that's that's telling me what to do, man. You can't just mansplain to me like that. Hmm. Oh, lens dirt and lens flares. Low resolution. She says it's important. You better believe it is. Trusting this deceiver is not an act I am Didn't Rainer and Slendis have like a very violent disagreement that resulted in thousands of people dying? Yep, that was in Wings of Liberty. So what's going on, Sarah? What's so urgent you got us all here for? Amon lives. These pixels, they do not heal. <laughs> And he already plans to return. Mm. Even now, I hear a voice calling me. This may be the great enemy's truth. Spooky. This voice is not his. There's something else in there. Something tormented and desperate. But it's benevolent. Amon's strength grows by the moment. He may not return during our lives, but he will return. Holy resolution. What is it you resolution. We do, Kerrigan? There is a gateway to the void within Alnar. <laughs> I intend to go through it and destroy the fallen one once and for all. I need your help. Sarah's right. 
We can't kick this can down the road. This burden is ours. Like it or not. Zeratul foresaw that this day would come. Ah, oh, prophecy. Oh. Counting the fucking polygons on Solendus' face. Um, there's no explanation as to how they activated this void lens flare portal. How do they take control over Ulnar so easily? Wasn't it like heavily damaged during the battle? Ooh, Tyla. Yeah, that's Tyla. So how do they, and how and, and why and? This is sick, man. This is I mean, sick behavior. Amon needed like ire and and the stasis things and or the, the whatever the fuck they were. Like it wasn't so easy for him to open just small portals to the void. So we're gonna use this alien device made by the creators that we barely understood how to open doors in to do. Tearing apart our ships. We're not gonna last long out here. The voice is coming from up ahead. We have to reach it. My forces will invest. Oh, my lens flares are flickering. Holy shit, yeah. that's bugged. He's, oh, my his goodness. strobe lights are on. He's sending uh, <laughs> Kerrigan a, uh, a Morse code with his eyes. You, me, behind the ghetto tonight. I'm going to show you how real plants get perforated. We must find the corruption and clear it. The corruption! We're inside the void. We're gonna destroy the void and the void and its corruption because. Well, mm -hmm. I don't know. Just throw words at. Casuals won't think about it. Void rip. Generic recolor red explosion. The corruption. Oh, fuck no! Mm hmm. God damn it! Tassadar, you son of a bitch, just cease exist. Nope, he's Jesus void. He says, insert it into your anus. I call to you in oh, into a cinematic already. Now you have come to this realm. What are warp in animations, dude? You must free me from his grasp. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how she knows it's Nerud, dude. Ah, uh, yeah, we got some sorting issues. What a mess. This is a mess. Glaze! Oh, no, the ten. <laughs> that transition! Real graceful! Holy shit! Someone just pissed. They pissed already. They pissed and Blizzard Get ready, spewed. Narud's forces are heading towards Jim's position. My swarm will be there to help. My Templar will join you. In the name of Tassadar, we shall be victorious. Well, uh. maybe this will be a build and destroy mission with allies. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, I have my don't, doubts. Laugh. don't make me laugh. Come on. I have my doubts. I'm ready for that four Zergling onslaught we were saying earlier in the campaign. I think there are actual so again, ways. again, now we're inside the void. The deep, dark void. And it's, it, okay, we got the void thrashers we saw earlier. Thrasher, void, okay, but, but sure, it's a new unit at least. But the rest of them are still just glazed default units because they were too fucking late. And they're unreadable as a result. Yeah, I can't tell what's going on, guys. That fucking fog is just some spinning billboards. It looks horrible. It's an it epic. If their uh, creep wasn't a hard-coded mess, they could have just made a duplicate creep that had some uh, additive effects or something. I don't know, is this something? Maybe use that uh, world space thing they've got going on there and alpha it into shit. Oh my god, it's an indicator! And a giant Everyone fucking blaze blue. that covers everything. What is going on? I, I gave every unit 200 an extra shields. No time to celebrate friend uh, uh, um... <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. 
Oh, sorry, I forgot they have uh, an immortal, so any mechanical units die immediately. What is going on? Oh, it's the. <laughs> it's the ambient <laughs> yeah, damage. It's piss, yeah. <laughs> this is well designed. They didn't even think about that. Well, listen, you think this is bad now, but I, you don't remember. I didn't pick any of this shit. They actually give you this stuff. So they, they made this mission the way it is, knowing full well that this is what they were going to hand you. Your choices don't carry over from the previous what missions. What is this lens flare? Uh, I don't know, dude. It's fucking Tassadar's cock. We have to go he, find all the other cocks. It? No, it's Or is not it just even. there? It's just hanging. It, it's just there. Spear of Adun. This is Hyperion Actual. There are several strategic positions up ahead. We should make a point of securing them. See, I can't believe that he stumbles over the word. Uh, that's not even the same voice actor. Is well, it? It is. It's just hard It doesn't to know. sound like it. I hear what sounds like Zerglings biting something, but I don't know what it is. I guess it's just like some sound effects are global, or maybe it's supposed to yeah, be lightning that's nearby? Yeah, some ambient sound, yeah. I can't. I mean, the Zergling do. biting sound is just like a little slap, so it's hard to distinguish it. You don't say. Well, I have time stop at least. Oh. Wow, what a line, dude. That was pretty Dramatic. menacing. I don't know how Man, I'm going to possibly big spook, huh? fight against such a line. Yeah, th they're playing like sounds that sound a lot like... Uh, I don't know, man. Seems a lot like just fucking borrowing. Some really weird sound, dis sound decisions in this. That were not sound decisions. I'm just fucking time stopping, dude. Let's go. Let's go fucking gimmick the enemy into another dimension. The void dimension. Probably. Void! It's spinning billboards. Dude, you could have made this look not like shit with just a little bit of extra effort. That's way more extra effort than is required, so. Free me, Artanis. Release me under you. Plant my seed! There are so many questions, like why the fuck is this happening to me? Why do I play Undertale and Legacy of the, the Void in the dead, same man. fucking goddamn day? They took out his clippings and stuffed it into a fucking plant pot on their desk and now they're making fun of him. All they want is to be free. Oh, I forgot to aim move while I was doing this. Fuck. That glaze looks so bad. It all looks bad. It's dude. just a sliding texture. Oh, three zealots! Oh shit! Three! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Are you okay? No. I think I took some life damage. That will be repaired after a while. It's coming. Oh no, it's not coming. The red no. line told you it wasn't coming. Now. Do you think people will get upset if I just remove that red line entirely? Because my Raven missiles are still the same as their old ones. In fact, I even have splitting raven missiles. <laughs> oh shit. That's spooky, dude. I don't know if they even work. Well, that's, that's the problem with working time. with this fucking quote unquote game, quote unquote engine. I like how those things make this huge red indicator under them. I don't we know why. We need more visual noise in this game, so here's more red. Because everything you're fighting is not red. Right. So. It. Oh, they finally killed it. Oh shit, they, they were attacking me with five supply. Oh They're fuck, watching. fuck man, they got a banshee, it's gonna cloak and you're gonna need observers and, and uh, 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 oh. Then you remembered what we were playing, dude. And... He's no longer here, he'll have to take a message. Why is he no longer here? Well... Talk shit, get hit. Was he the end? Ended? Ended himself? End? Dude, they're giving me fucking air unit under attack messages for shit that's like- I'm looking at them because they walked into the fucking void. The void! Yeah, but you don't know that that's the void because to everybody else it just looks like this shitty red overlay. Right on. My 
Right on, LOL. Dude, I, I'm Rainer, LOL. I'm helping kill LOL. Amon, the dark god. That's right, LOL. LOL. XD. Let me uh, just sit here and uh, post to my Facebook and my MySpace. LOL, just shooting up some void monstrosities, XD. Hit me up on 5gag. Check out my BuzzFeed. Well, we're just start steamrolling this shit at this point. Oh shit! Oh no! What am I gonna do? That's so spooky, man. If he led you to free him, that means they were already gay. That means the Taster was drinking deep of that dark cock before you got the chance to. You cannot resist forever, Raynor. Oh wait, I'm supposed you to. You get... cannot resist forever. Yeah, if you've ever played World of Warcraft, particularly uh, Legion onwards, but really any of the expansions, but especially Legion onwards, every single enemy unit in the entire game has to say, "You can't do this. You can't do that." Raynor. My forces are inbound. Ah, oh, cheese! Commander, we could use your assistance. He is cheese. His whole face is cheese. It has to be embarrassing for, like, even young adults to be making a game that looks as bad and they look at it when it's finished and they just... I can't imagine anybody thinking really well of themselves that they were... I mean, they're getting paid for it, so they're probably, like, detached in some way, but... Usually people try to take some degree of pride in what they've done, and how can you look at something like Stuka's face and feel even the slightest semblance of pride? It's so appalling. Oof. Dude, the units are just ignoring him. Land Slayers. This bastard dies today. Oh man, so epic. They should have had UED Commander voice them and talk about Russian shit. Just like ramble, it would have been more interesting. I agree, actually. Aw, oh, shit, I chrono boosted myself. Oh. Dude, it really sounds like Banshee impact sounds are right happening right next to my base. Uh, that, that chrono boost doesn't cost mana. Uh, no, it's just a permanent effect on one building. So they removed the, the macro overhead of uh, the macro mechanics that were there to just to increase overhead. <laughs> Blizzard, dude. I'm sure Blizzard has no idea what they're doing. Like, they probably just cycle staff like every month. Like some random new intern gets hired because they have to kick whoever was off otherwise they'd have to like legally pay him. So they just cycle through whoever and whoever ends up is just handed this fucking shit heap. And they say, hey, pretend you're, you're active so that people still think that we're supporting this game. And then the intern is like, uh, I don't know what the fuck to do with this mess. Let's, uh, let's do whatever. Shit let's just, just spawns in stuff. in front of me. Yeah, the, the balance is really comical. going into those buildings? Uh, oh, I don't know. I'll have to check that out next time. Assuming, oh, well, maybe there, lose. I don't even know if there is going to be a next one. I guess I sure the next one isn't. on the on the left is probably a Terran expansion. The ones on the right are not. I don't get this, dude. You're literally in the void telling me who's the enemy of all life. Yeah, but look at how many Terran and Protoss he's got. He's got to protect them, man. Oh, yeah, that's true. He's got to protect the little guy and their small interests. For the big black colonials. This area is clear. Let's get some bunkers down. I don't even remember if I have to expand. Oh, no. A shrike turret. I like how those aren't even animated. I don't. They were something that literally they just threw in just at the very last minute because let's put a turret on bunkers. Ah, oh, we don't need animations. Don't. Hi. Is this the best 
you have, Narud. Time for you to die again. Oh shit, Narud. Narud, man, what a rude bitch. Kissed. Whatever, I'll just aim move through this fucking mess. I didn't even have to do anything. Thrasher. My allies are actually sort of self-sufficient, it seems like. I'm stuck. Oh. Uh. Man, it's going to get you right in the face. Oof. Here it comes, here it comes. Uh. Didn't even do any damage. It's in your chin, man. It's in your mouth. Is there no music for this? I feel like there's no music. It's just kind of quiet, I guess. Dude, shit just spawns here. Area secure, and we are implanting a hive cluster now. My queen, our mutalisks shall join the fight shortly. Thanks for telling me, dude. I'm your queen, after all. I mean, you are. You're a plant. He worships those thorns and the flowers and... I accidentally shot the fucking Havoc immediately by a left clicking in a spot nearby. Oh shit, we've gotta actually expand, dude. It's crazy. There's just such little going on on the map right now. Yeah, I don't know. They were afraid of having scale or something. Just, like, your allies are attacking with small bullied waves against a bunch of idle units. It's kind of hilarious. Dude, he just says aim on mines. He's like, they're like stealing each other's lines at this point. And then Tassar has to like, jut in and be like, game on's power binds me here. It's like, well, we kind of gathered that. Minions, defend the Terrans. Give Naruda taste of your fury. Why are the fucking units talking to their allies, man, at this point? Seriously? Oh shit, time stomp doesn't affect those guys. That's crazy. Alright, now we gotta wait for time stomp to, to get rid of itself, I guess. Alright, let's see. Here we go. Light them up. Where's that command center going, Daddy? Where's it going? Where's it going? Where's it going, Daddy? It's <laughs> Why don't they get confused and just leave it in the air? <laughs> Horner is just sitting there, just like adjusting his jacket uncomfortably. Why? Why are these plants so fucking stupid? Just let me land my fucking command center next to the glowing fucking dragon dildo, man. <laughs> Meanwhile, there's this one super crip. <laughs> Fuck you, man! You killed my siege tank. This isn't over. It's Two just pieces of shit. <laughs> Void Thresher died off screen, but fuck, that's pretty good, man. Wow. I never thought I would see the day where another man becomes me. Oh my goodness. What a fucking disaster. You like how they always attack with the same units too? Like Rainer's always using those Goliaths. There's I never can't say any that I the, like uh, much about this game, honestly. There's never any like 
Well, there's those liberators, but I think only the enemies had them. Yeah. Rainer's not a big fan of using the... Uh, didn't seem he used Vikings, Ravens, many Bell... I think he used one or two, maybe one or two battle cruisers before. No Hercules, because transports don't exist in this game. There's a Thor. Be surprised if you see him use their special ability, though. Actually, the enemies don't use that either. No. It seems to be against the law or something. I just turned the Thor into another siege tank. And they have like a bunch of multi attacks on them. <laughs> just dropping fucking sieged mode tanks. Okay, buddy. Oh no, so a the, giant the, indicator the, yeah, on the mini They do what, like 250 damage or something? With their abilities? Yeah, it's something pretty absurd. So they just have some, all these cannons and stuff they never actually fucking use. Let's check in with our friend. Okay, cool. <laughs> He's got an SCV chilling out there too. Just time stop and walk in over here. Sup, man? How There's a doing? lot of dudes in there. Yeah, a lot of shit I can't fucking see. God, those worlds are so retarded. What does this that mean? dialogue is so good. <laughs> <laughs> you and me both, Tassa Dork. You and me both, man. Minions. It appears we have a oh, he's cooming me. Greet him for me. Dude, I could just walk. I could have walked up here at any point. Just walk. Just give him a, a kiss. Look, all he does is shoot a laser at you. That's all he does. He's like massaging the air. It doesn't even look like the animation loops properly. There's some weird snapping. He's dead. That, that was it, there. man. That was all I needed to do. Hello. What a baby mission. Do you remember what you did to me? Still, you have come to Dude, wait till you see this Goku. No, I've come to say good night, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Artemis, you must come to this me. is homo dude i can't believe stukov has a purple hero glow and rainer has a teal hero glow but none of the other heroes have hero glows what is this warcraft 1.5 yeah basically my mentor how can this be all right get ready oh <laughs> That's high res. Uh, oh, oh dear. It's the nipple monster. A form I chose to inspire action in the one called the Zeratul. This is the ma massive retcon to end all retcons right here. <laughs> the result of my psionic extension into the they messed his voice real bad. You are Zelnaga, the one who called to me. Who are you? Oros, last shepherd of the cycle, enemy of Amon. Chorus's name has to be Oros. Cycle, Oros, Oroboros. Get it, 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 get it. That's such a clever play on words. Finding me as prisoner. Why have you summoned us? Void. The cycle must not be broken. The merging of He is so high res, dude. He's very high res. The lighting makes him look even higher res. You, the one called Kerrigan, can merge with my essence. Oh my, that's him. Now, fulfill your destiny. <laughs> destiny! The way his eyes animates are really fucked up. The infinite cycle. Zelnaga? You want to change her into one of you? Oh, damn it. <laughs> Sarah, no. Only a Zalaga can defeat the Fallen One. Fallen One. Fallen One. We don't gotta do this. We don't 
don't have to let yourself be mutilated again. Together, no, Jim. With all I've done, the lives ruined, worlds destroyed. What a comical fucking scene, dude. I need to <laughs> This is my destiny. Oh, my cringe. This is my destiny! I'm going to be redeemed, just like Arthas will eventually be in World of Warcraft. Nah, dude, that's a Warcraft dramatic through stinger reform. because it's so epic. Corruption spires. <laughs> Seven hundred and four. Oh it my cringe, dude! Uh, nice fucking fuck? subtitles in front of Artanis's skull. Good one. <laughs> All right, this is um, this is one of the missions that's actually difficult, so I'm probably gonna die a few times. Also, I, Rainer's in-game model in the en ending cutscene of the uh, like the in-game cutscene in that mission uh, is completely different armor than the one that he's wearing in this splash screen, and also in the uh, end-game cutscene of the like the cousin we just watched with the fucking Oros retconning Tassadar into not a character. The N game, you would say. I would say. And you would say the tip. Essence. Uh. Terrence, our best are holding out against overwhelming forces. Use your defensive structures effectively to ensure survival. Okay. Void. Void. Clipping. He is such a fucking the Dex tubby is, piece of Texas shit. Texas clipping dude. through the black. Loot. So yeah. Oh, look, another Fresnel effect. And a shitty effect over there. Dark. Dark servants. Oh, a giant indicator. Oh, oh shit, there's an indicator, dude. Oh, that looked good. That was well synced, too. <laughs> Lens flares. Ah, uh, 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 Lens flares. Uh, three. Three. Make it quick. Oh, now back into a cinematic again. Yeah, that was a useful bit of uh, gameplay. <laughs> Dude, this one was made in a weekend, you can tell. I've set up my defenses at these two points. Looks like we gotta stand our ground if we're gonna get out of this alive. This one will aid its queen unto death. What a piece of shit. And the might of the firstborn stands with you. Artanis just suicides just like Alarak. So here's <laughs> another 30 minute holdout mission. Oh wait, I'm supposed what? to do this. Insufficient best beam gas. Alright, if I remember correctly, it went something like this. No. No. I'm always not ready. Is this the part where you just mass ravens? Let's build defense drones and nothing can attack you. Can't build ravens. You have come to seek your death. You. What the hell was that? You. Avon is sending his minions against us. Oh. But I can use this power to stop uh. them if I have to. Oh. So it stops the countdown there to use her powers. Her epic powers. Her power is just a laser. The most powerful sonic beings in the world, we still just shoot lasers at them. Mm -hmm. What more could you ask for, dude? Ay, ay, ay. Oh, yeah, I'm supposed to be collecting fucking essence or something. Essence! Collect the essence! Get it in your mouth! It's so sticky, so gooey. Ready. 
Shouldn't I get a auto repairing structures or something? Isn't this kind this of This isn't Supreme Commander. You can't just build fucking hives and have them build your fucking mothership in two seconds. Oh. I don't know anything about Supreme Commander. It's hysterically broken. The creeping void awakens. You know what else is a creeping void? My mom. I guess it all makes sense now. Hmm. Oh! Oof. Creeping void. You got sassed. Jim, Zagara and Artanis won't last long if you don't act. You must help them. Or I can use my powers if I must. What will she become when she is a mother? Do not forget, I have also ascended. Ass ended. Ass. That's one way of putting it. Vehicle and ship weapons. What is it? Uh! <laughs> Be in the rear with the gear. What's going on? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. I'm going. Uh huh. SCV ready. Fucking instant depots, dude. Upgrade complete. <laughs> it's so goofy. <laughs> oh, our, our, our Art Anus is already dead. Well, big if surprise there. Power against Amon's forces. It will delay the transfer. I'll have to be careful. Oh no! Oh wait, Terran buildings don't burn down anymore. Nope. That was unfair to casuals, I guess. Yeah, something about that. Alright, I can't assist with building. Didn't get that special. This isn't Warcraft 3, man. Well, there's a upgrade in the campaign that lets you do that. Void Thrasher! We must warp out. I'll do what I can. What a baby, dude. Now get yourself to safety. You hear? What's going on? Upgrade complete. Upgrade complete. We'll do. Ready. <laughs> no. I'm afraid not. Man, I really forgot about everything. Yes. You build tanks and shit. Beam is clipping to the cliff side. <laughs> yeah, well, it's not real Z, obviously. They're assaulting our base from the other side. These bastards don't let up, do they? Why would they? Tenacity is advantageous in war. That isn't what I... Oh, hell, never mind. Oh, oh, well, oh, well. Fucking dribble, dribble. Upgrade complete. Base is under attack. Yo. Speak. Oh shit, uh, void. I don't even remember what the strategy was. I think it was just what I'm doing. Just build a lot of fucking planetary fortresses and tanks. Now you need Ricky to give you the upgrade for planetary fortresses to hit air. Yeah, that would be useful in this case. 
Well, you idiot, if you didn't fucking sit there and suck dick. Oh, thanks for letting me know, dude. I'm, you could really tell based on the three Zerglings that were over here. There you go, I gave Indicators you some Indicators XD! It's an indicator for a point-and-click ability, man. Come on. Everybody knows those are the most important kinds of indicators. Got some re instant reinforcements. Here, I guess. One over here. Speak. Another void thrasher's here. Better take care of it before it causes too much trouble. Yeah, you know those void thrashers. They are troublemakers. What's going on? Everybody knows how much trouble they can be. Ay, ay, ay. What a mess. Oh, man. So, do you feel like this is a worthy successor to the previous mission? This just is the previous mission. Again! Why would they recycle this so many times? I don't know, it really annoys me though. <laughs> it's fucking just bleeds through the terrain. You're dead! Your, your forces are dead! <laughs> what what is fuck? wrong with you? How do you test them out? Oh, you don't, lol! <laughs> this thing is for retards. We don't do that. It's too expensive. Seems that way. They also only attack under the, like the predefined pathways and shit. Well, of course, they're just auto spawn shit. Oh, I already have some shit over here. Base? Gaze? Oh shit. Oh fuck. I wasn't paying attention. Holy fucking Amon. Hey, I don't have any top bar abilities. What am I supposed to do? Hmm. Looks like I'm fucked here. Lost everything in one fell swoop. You. You. Yeah. <laughs> wow, they really did just annihilate everything. What are you doing? Attack move, idiot! Explain. Fuck those mean lists. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's it's already over, probably. I fucked up. Lost too much shit. She's getting a tempo one Zilla! I can't hold forever. What a baby, dude. My strength is failing. Stop being a child. Uh, no, I'm definitely gonna have to reload at this fucking stage. Oh, well, maybe not. I don't know. I'll give it a good college try. College boy, male gender symbol. Mm-hmm. That's a neg hole. Oof. Give up! 
Butter my biscuit, lol. Lol. I got a fucking biscuit you can butter, daddy. <laughs> yeah, Artanis, you know, he's still alive. <laughs> How do you test? If Artanis uh, didn't just fucking kill himself, it would be a lot more useful, but unfortunately. This is just what we're forced to endure. What's our target? Big job, huh? Well, go ahead. Okay. I can't hold forever. Wait, why is she being focused? Or what is even attacking her? There's like shit attacking these units and they're just ignoring it to attack Kerrigan. It's pretty reasonable. Uh, sure, just go back to the beginning so I can actually do this properly. It was a bit of a wake up, dude. That last mission was so easy, I think I actually got more tired playing it. <laughs> and now I'm just fucking kissing myself to sleep. Oh, uh, no. And they fucking load me into a cutscene. What a fucking joke. Insufficient thespian gas. Huh? Not nice. enough minerals. We'll want heavy defenses to give Sarah the time she needs. I hope you're ready for this. All my forces will hold for as long as they can. Our queen must not be harmed. This is just a joke of a fucking bunker placement, too. This is all like a sham. You're not even supposed to bother with this stuff. They're like, they put it up against the ramp so you can't wall it off. Intelligent design is too intelligent for Tony. Shoot fun. laser. Pew pew. Power, dude. Powerful Sarah Kerrigan. Can't believe we're in another one of these maps already. At least the DLC doesn't have any like this, I don't think. That I can remember, anyway. Can't even build mules, dude. How am I supposed to do anything? Oh, man. I never really understood the idea of, like, like if you want to have a mission where you're on the defensive, shouldn't there be, like, some trade-off? Like, oh, yeah, I'm on the defensive, but my AI allies will be aggressive. You know I think I mean? you're asking too much of a company that clearly doesn't even play their own game. Make like a single Viking and get a bunch of money on the outer rim there. Just have completely unrelated dialogue playing. Also this be good. 
You know, I've also ascended. I ascended the shaft to the tip and found my destiny. Yes. But there, Metzen was already waiting for me in his chair of Prozac. He was having a good time. I believe it. Not enough minerals. Waiting for our tannins to get pounded in a rectum. I forgot to build my command center, lol. Rainer's fucking drunk. Just like, uh, now I see the resemblance between him and Metzen, actually. Yeah. Yes. I am the student. No time is If I use this power against the forces, Zap. it will delay the transfer. Zap. 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 Doesn't even work because they have a fucking shrink turret! Can't even bunker micro, dude! XD. You didn't think that they were gonna let you micro, did they? <laughs> That's why you can't call them micro maps, because they're not skill testing. Oh, the screen is shaking, dude! Dude, that, that's epic. If I had the screen shake, it'd be like for the most asinine thing, like a marine die. <laughs> a marine's body hits the ground, the whole planet fucking shakes. All buildings take like 30 D10 damage. Hi, hi, hi. Dude, holla back, LOL. Uh, holla back, brother! Don't let up, do they? Well, LOL, LOL. Well. is advantageous in war. That isn't what I. Oh, hell, never mind. Yeah? Oh, shit. Just fucking. You're getting your, me. your. Your diddly hole perforated here, Johnson. Oh, fuck, I loaded the wrong save! <laughs> I got a Look piss. at that sick lens flare and the low resolution, everything, and the really, really messed up looking lighting, where there's like a light casting from the top left, but it doesn't hit the ground because the boy, dark deep, dark fantasies. Boy, we don't watching. have real lighting in this unit. At least you can see Carrion's butt cheeks, and the fact that Rainer isn't even armed. I need to focus until this is finished. Jim, you'll have to handle this one. All right. I've set up my defenses at these two points. Yeah, this isn't but the only thing he's handling. If we're gonna get out of this alive. This war will aid its queen unto death. And the might of the first war stands with you. Then let's get moving. <sighs> well, it's a good thing this game plays itself, huh? We'll want heavy defenses to give Sarah the time she needs. I hope you're ready for this. Oh, man. My forces will hold. Who isn't ready, dude? Wait, did you also AFK? Oh shit, dude. Everybody's AFK. I'm AFK. You're AFK. Oh wait, I'm supposed to say this. I'm just like dozing in and out of conscious. Hey, who blew up my bunker? Ricky did. You have come to seek your death. 
No, not death. Destiny. He's like a streamer. A little liberal cuck. But I can use this power to stop them if I have to. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. What's going on? SCV ready. Speak up. What is it already? No time like the present. Zap. Zap. Our SCVs are under attack. I'm gonna set up my hotkeys now. What if Carrion just like inserted herself into the tentacles? It'd go a lot faster. It would. That is true. We'd jump straight to the dojin anyways. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Is it possible to even make something in StarCraft 2 that isn't just fucking shit? Sure it is. But that's not what makes the money, man. Oh, I see. The only way to make money is by tasting windows and making an exhibition out of it. Some people refer to it as politics. Canadians refer to it as window licking. It's a national sport. Canadians love the taste of windows. It's one and the same. But you see, Blizzard... Blizzard are exhibitionists. They love to be humiliated. For them, it's their fetish. So that's why we've got this. And the people who play it, they're also into the whole BDSM thing. They love to be humiliated. That's really like the only justification I can have that an enemy would subject themselves to this willingly. Zelnaga. Dude, when I heard through the grapevine that there was like a Zelnaga awakening or something in this, I really just could not believe it because I thought that even as bad as Blizzard is, they wouldn't just recycle the fucking old god plotline from about ten different science fiction. You haven't seen World of Warcraft because that's literally every single expansion. Now that's just dirty. Why would you do that? It's funny. Oh man. Get him, Art, Art Anus. And he's gonna die. No, he, re he rebirths himself. Oh. That's like a reverse of Vor. Dude, Vor is one of those things I'll never understand. Just like the guy on my server. Or, well, formerly on my server. Why you did should you ask Ann about though? Vor. See how Vor is accepted in his home country. The European countries, they're... They're very special. They're very welcoming of, uh... Tism. Cause you've got... You got Europe, or uh, not Europe, uh... Germany, <laughs> it's known for their scat. I mean, Germany basically owns all of Europe anyway. But, no, Germany's known for scat. And for being, uh, they're they're considered pigs because they're pink colored. But there was a couple others that were really. Someone told me about these, but I forget what they were. It's been a while. But there's like a, a just like an epicenter of degeneracy around there. And America is just like fat, and Canada it's bestiality in particular. Makes sense. Can't believe the spawns for those Canada things is are basically decent. basically just like a hillbilly land, and then East Indian. The East Indians are more civilized than we are, and they shit on the streets. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I believe that actually. Something about they have those designated East shitting streets. In Canada, it's just white people's mouths. Oh yeah, I gotta set up a planetary fortress over here as well. Our face from the other side. 
These bastards don't let up, do they? Oh shit. Tenacity is advantageous in war. That isn't what I oh, I'll never Quick rebuild Artanus. I can't believe I have to listen to that herder shit every time I have to fucking replay this mission. You know how easy it is to prevent that? You just have a bank that activates when you played the map once. And you set a condition and trigger that says, have I played this? Then don't play this again. It's actually really, 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 really simple. At least it should be really simple. But I wouldn't be surprised if nobody in Blizzard even knew how banks worked anyway. Yeah, well, I would be surprised just because they use them so often. A massive onslaught is coming our way, Terran. Aid us. Dude, I still can't get over that they do that. They say that before any units have been spotted. So insane to me. Uh, let's do some of this over here. Command center upgrade complete. Mm. Command center you actually. sure they're fine. Ah, I looked over here and everything was, well, an SCV died, I guess. Show your screen, dude. These units are so fucked. They start sieging in the middle of fucking nowhere. Oh, I really only have one SCV over there. Wait, what SCVs are in our tank? Do you never get attacked from the top right at all? I do, I just have some defenses over here, so they all die. No, no, the top right. Oh yeah, that doesn't exist. They never drop you or anything. Nope. That's fantastic. Boros's power courses through me, but half of it still remains. What a line, dude. Amon is sending an overwhelming force against me. I will need Oh holy shit, he's still alive. That's insane. Yeah, this time he is actually alive when he's sending that transmission. No time like the present. The fuck? Oh, that's an ultralisk? Yeah, it's pretty hard to tell, isn't it? Yeah. There you go, dude. I am the swarm. I've come this way. Dude, look at the tanks, they just go back homo. Yep. See you later, Arctaness. Mm -hmm. It was nice doing you, dude. Oh, yeah, I got him straight now. Take caution, Raynor. Amon is sending a massive force to you. My forces cannot hold, friend Raynor. We must warp out. I'll do what I can. Now get yourself to safety. <laughs> they can't fucking see up me. Oh, what? They don't have the map reveal on this? That's really weird. Because Brutal just adds that to them. That's strange. This is odd they made an exception for this map and none of the others. Void thrashers are attacking us, my queen. 
us, but they attack Kerrigan. Who'd have fucking thunk it, dude? What do you want me to do about it, dude? Get some patrols going. Stuff is uh, going okay here. Well, Ready to blow. wake up and smell the coffee. Zagara and Artanis will come under attack soon. Defend Dude, look at this. Oh, Mesk is definitely asleep, dude. He's out. He I see some dancing. Oh, there you are. I am asleep. <laughs> why are they? What? They're just dancing, dude. They're having a spin. They're like trying to move to the other fucking platform or something, but they don't know how to path there because you blocked off your base. That means that their triggers are fucked. Oh, Zagara is about to get treated to Debbie Does Diarrhea 69. Honestly, at this point, it's like, whatever. Oh, the mustaches are coming, dude. You better watch out. You better not pout. Mustaches are on their way. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. You're on fire, man. Dude, what the fuck? I can't see anything! Get out of here! <laughs> Why would you need to see anything? She got hit by one unit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> when you don't even bother to playtest your map for damage thresholds on voice line. There are more void thrashers out there. We gotta take them out. Well, she's just not. No, she's now she's gonna die. Rip. She got fucking kissed pretty hard there. Well, it was okay before I fucking fell asleep. Just like you. I already fell asleep. Dude, this what is a so mess. boring. There's nothing to even comment on at this point, man. It's just a mess. It's just like, this is just a shitty fucking custom map that somebody slapped together with glazes, and that's it. There's no fucking point to this at all. But Madsen needed to have his fucking cinematic. Tony thought he was gonna make some maps, and here we are. Well, there's music finally. If you can call it that. Yeah, I hear some very distant music. I would just play J-pop and just fucking... No Spawn eight fucking Zerg bases that just you have this many seconds to stop them from building or you're fucked. And if you just sit on your ass, then they go up to fucking Vipers and then they just chain yank all your buildings across the map. That's how I'd do it. Oh, and then I'd make your allies be useful so that, you know, you weren't just trying to mop up the whole fucking map on your own. Because that's the problem with this shit, is you spend more time babysitting than you do doing anything. Because they don't fucking do anything. They don't build anything. So even when you invest your resources into defending them... <laughs> yeah. It just is a- you're just padding a timer buffer for when they never really get destroyed. It's pretty, uh... It's carrying can only kill so much so fast. She's not as strong as a cooldown. Oh, 
creatures are attacking us, my queen. Oh, and then I look back and this is all fucking eradicated. It's okay, they're just spinning right now because they got no interceptors. Deep void fantasies. So it would seem. Honestly, in this map, I think bunkers are worthless. We just make nothing but planetary fortresses and barracks in front of them and then spam tanks. Yeah, that might be the way to go. Because that's what you would do on the Kerrigan mission on Wings of Liberty. But you can't do that because Kerrigan's Razor Swarm would kill everything and she's immune to tank fire. Because she reduces it down to like 10 damage or but on this map, you don't have to worry about that. You just have to worry about immortals. Upgrade. But immortals aren't fuck ass retarded anymore because they don't have the arbitrary damage reduction. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Which means two tank shots will go through their cooldown, assuming they even use it. They do use it, yeah. But it's also expensive. But you are also sitting at 2400 mineral. Yeah, I'm not really spending any money. Like, with these kinds of missions, it's so, I have to force myself to be... ...to do anything, really. I like how he always has to say something immediately after her, and it's always between this stuff, because it's so fucking academically... They don't have any dynamic to their dialogue at all, that's why they don't feel natural. I have to mention Amon's dialogue has no relationship to whatever is going on at all. Yeah, there's never any, uh... Never any real connection, anyways. Here's some Texan disco going on now. <laughs> That's fitting. This is... That kind of map. Maybe with enough of an uh, insane force here, I, sh I might be able to do something. TVs. Yeah, I think actually this might this might be okay. If I just station this force over here and I keep repairing shit. Ready to plunder, get it, because he's a viking. <laughs> oh, I can Dude, transport this It's the this raping mission. part of raping and pillaging that we gotta do. Just get in there and get those zerglings, man. As a Canadian, it's always a neighbor's dog that I'm after. Hi. Man, that's so epic. You must hold. You aid a monster who has murdered scores of your people. I heard about enough of this. Me too, dude. Remain focused, my friend. Dude, you're not even here. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Wait, they actually responded to that? Rainer, see, the, the Rainer is so fucking schizophrenic. He just doesn't really care so long as he gets some of that booty. 
Well, he's mentally retarded. Uh oh, there's an indicator. Watch out, man. Can you believe that they made indicators a real part of the game? I can because a lot of Americans are stupid enough to do that. Also, you just flew into a giant stack of Thors and. Yeah, took I a forgot they did AoE. Over. Then I tried to cloak and it didn't work. Whatever, dude, I'll just walk over here, restock. You don't need a cloak, daddy. Oh, why have banshees or three supply? What the fuck? Mm, so are tanks. What's going on? They didn't like StarCraft being about numbers. Yo. Mainly because, well, this is Warcraft 3's engine. It can't really do numbers very well. StarCraft 2 actually, uh, it doesn't have uh, as low of an arbitrary unit limit as Brood War does, but by the time you get halfway of Brood War's unit limit, you're gonna start seeing an amazing bug where units actually become entirely dysfunctional. You can't select them, they like don't appear in the minimap and other shit like that. Right. I vaguely remember something like that. Check I out my ultra. They've elevated that limit since I've seen it, but I think it was somewhere around a thousand units. I mean, by then the performance is so bad that, you know. It's like when there was a guy on Mapster's IRC that was like, Hey, my map really lags horribly and there's nothing on it and I can't figure out what's going on. And I told him to send me his map and it was because he had a bunch of trees that were units instead of like, not unit doodads. I think because he wanted them to be destructible or something. But even though they weren't moving or anything, just, just the fact that there was that many units on the map. There was about like 800, 900 or so. It brought the game to a fucking crawl. I like that they start to attack and then they fuck off. Because mm -hmm. they That's lose vision. That's because they have such a long wind up. Yeah. That would they get hit by something and their target changes and they, they interrupt. Well, I think we won, actually. This is way easier than I thought it would be. I'm expecting, like, 30 Void Thrashers to appear inside of your base. No. Those just like a sea of indicators to swamp over you. This is all time- like, it's, this is all percentage-based anyways. So it's not even yeah. like you, um... Like, if you do this faster, you get through with less losses or something. I remember somebody saying something about that. They were complaining how, like, they didn't use Kerrigan at all and they, like, manually killed everything and it was still just as difficult. Well, it was more difficult because no. they lost more units. No. So. That's why I would make this map based on enemies having bases. I mean, I wouldn't have Kerrigan be strong like that. i just give her basic attacks. She just automatically uses so it wasn't a fucking... So, you still had to defend, but you could at least do something about it, and the timings were based on real timings. I'm waiting for the fucking artifact shockwave thing again. It's coming. Because they always do that at the end of this. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Yep, there it is. And oh, that was a uh, that was a rescaled shockwave from one of the hybrids, I think. That's it. I have nearly all of the Zelnaga's essence. Dude, there's void shit on me. Essence. Look at all this void. Why is there void particles? Void. Remember our lessons. I shall. It is time. Oh shit. Check out his eyeballs, dude. Man, that's so epic. They really did crush those colors. Wait, she's going blue in here as opposed to going orange. A new eternity dawns. Shut up. Gotta play those Middle Eastern vocals. Wait, he just said that the infinite cycle has- Dude, this is a schizophrenic production! In the previous <laughs> cutscene, he said the infinite cycle cannot be broken! Those rocks have no lighting. 
That fucking retard squid head has no lighting. Oh, and now does she come orange, but she was orange before. Oh, my retinas. So right, epic. Here's Golden Chicken Kerrigan. She is. She looks really weird. His voice! What happened to it? Why did she turn Giga? Mm. Why is she so ugly? Is that part of they the- They don't know how to model. These moments together. They will always be with me. Oh man, I'm getting a little embarrassed. I gotta go. What's wrong with her hair mesh? Holy shit! Jim, Jim, Jim. J, J, James. Rainer, Rainer, Rainer. A mistake. That's lewd. Once and for all. Good hole. Oh! And she immolates them and leaves them in behind and smoldering and fucking burning corpses, dude. What the I'd fuck? I'd only hope, man. No, they're in the next mission, too. I don't know why they brought this back. Well, a thousand enemy units killed. I see beyond the flow of space and time. All paths have led to this moment. What a cringe. This is really cringy. But our universe does. Amon's fall! Alright, let's destroy Amon, dude. Are you ready? Are you ready for the three to end all threes? <laughs> Look at that. Okay, read that tip and tell me. That you can... I will not go down easy. <laughs> Prepare for the final lens flare. And tell me that you can still consider yourself an anal virgin. Goku! Check the screen, my dudes. Oh, they died before it even hit them. Yep. Your newfound strength gives you no advantage here. You'd be forgiven for not even seeing him. Oh, I didn't even realize he was there for like five seconds and realized, oh, there's something black in there amidst all the different clouds. Dude, Kerrigan doesn't even know Her wings she is. are so fucked up. They're just as fucked up as the fucking Terriel wings in D3. Void crystals. Void crystals. Also his weakness. When they leave him to recharge their energy, they become vulnerable to attack. We cannot take them down alone. His strength is too great in this realm. You have yet to see my power. We will bring his barrier down. Then I will... That fire in her portrait looks so fucked up because it's just a series of small billboards. They didn't even try to make them animated textures or anything like that. That would have been so easy to do. Uh, I'm gonna have to say you on that one. You. Wow, check out my you nets. So. She is a Zelnaga that's ultimate power has a thousand health. And like 80 million passives. Void, 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 void. That huh. is our moment to destroy. Them. Fuck that Zergling, dude. It's the same lightning sound we've been using elsewhere in the game. Also, lens flared. Uh. Anyways, that's the powerful unit, dude. Check me out. Uh, I think I'm just supposed to expand immediately. Mm, your allies are expanding. Please tell me this map is better than the last two. Nope, it's worse. So here's a torment construct. Man, torment. <laughs> Ha ha ha. 
<laughs> you know what else is long in the void? The goat. And when you stare into the void, the goat stares back. So only Zelnagar is supposed to be able to destroy Zelnaga. That's what Ouroboros, the infinite cycle penis, told us. But you're getting destroyed by some crystals and a few roaches and Zergling. Yep. Okay. I don't know what you want me to say, dude. And these void chasms will just respawn after a while, so there's no real benefit. Oh shit. Oh, what do I do? Dude. There are some zealots attacking the ground next to that floating penis. Dude, why is she attacking They're so getting slow? tasered. Unknown Amon Crystal Dark Inertia <laughs> Target! <laughs> Blizzard tested this really well. They really tried up, by the way, you're dying. Listen, I was too busy fucking balking at that fucking misery, dude. Can you blame me? Yeah. Oh, okay. You're losing. Yeah. It's the battle at the end of the universe with the key to the end of all things. And Kerrigan's recycled World of Warcraft model. With some bloom attached to it. Can you believe this How is the end of the How can you lose, man? Every expansion is three geysers. That was the key all along when they started adding extra geysers to this game, is to reach this point where you got three everywhere. <laughs> that was the key, man. That was the key to the end of all things. Finally, we see seven objectives. That's the, uh, that's the other thing that Blizzard uses when it isn't three or five, it's seven. We Dude, haven't seen it too much in this game though, so I'll give him a pass for it. It's not too big of a deal. Oh, 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 you're gonna die. You're gonna lose. Nah, dude. I don't know why. She's one of the few units in the game that has mana. That's so strange. Wait, Zerg also have auto extractors? Yep. Everyone does. All these lasers are shooting purple and red at you. But not purple and green. Metzen, you missed your chance, dude. You could have created the ultimate Metzen realm of purple and green like you have with every other portion of these games. I mean, red is very close to a Metzen color too, but it's it's not the tried and true purple and green. I mean, I guess the Zerg are purple and green, but the crystals gotta be purple and green too because they're crystals, dude. Metzen just forgot. Wait, Ooh, what the hell boy. did the enemies even do? Do they ever really do anything? I think sometimes they attack you. Well, they they kill your hatchery, but. Where's like the void apocalypse giga thrashers that like send anime blades across the map killing everything in their path, man. Oh, those don't exist. This is the extent of what we fight. We fight Amon's tower defense assets. Oh, I see. Man, I could do so much more with these fucking crystal things. Just do anime blades, man. Check out this cutscene. Oh, oh shit. Watch out, here he comes. And the anime soundtrack! No, anime has better soundtracks than this. Wow, he's... Looking wow, good. the screen's shaking, dude. Hamon just ripped the ground out from under my command center. Now how are we supposed to fight something like that? That looks really good. We must set up multiple bases if we are to survive Amon's assault. It is only a matter of time before he comes for the rest of us. Come. Let him come. No, don't let him come. Okay, so let, let, let's ask a few questions here. So, the power levels in, in this universe are really fucked and they don't translate at all to the game. For example, carriers destroy planets in StarCraft 1, but then we retconned them and called them super carriers, which we never build again because that's inconvenient. 
And then we have Cybros, which destroys the service of planets, but is bigger than carriers, so that doesn't make any sense in either context. We have motherships that were supposed to be able to do something about destroying planets, or I don't know, there was some ambiguity regarding that. And now we've got the Zelnaga, who can only be destroyed by Zelda Zelnaga, so it's presumed that we can't uh, to lose them to anything besides things that can destroy it. many planets at a time. Except Kerrigan's dying to like marines and roaches, so that doesn't make any sense. But then we have the Zelnaga, who can only destroy tiny pieces of the terrain around him. Listen, he's this. He bends the void to his will, and you know what the void says? Have fun indicators. with that. Those indicators and yeah. Exactly. Indicators, oh indicators. Don't stand in the indicators, boys. That's big spook. Big spook, my dude. Don't stand in the indicators. Oh man, the ball. The balls even slowly descend. You don't need indicators. The ball descending is a read enough. Make it flash more brightly so you notice it, and that's it. That's all you need to. By the way, you didn't even destroy the void crystals yet. I know. You just build your hatchery over there. Uh, 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 there you go. I had to wait for the uh, eggs to pop. I don't even know what the fuck is you're even supposed to be destroying because all the crystals look the same to me. So they all shoot lasers and beams that are all super high contrast. Except for the grape drink ones that kind of like distribute grape drink to you like a, a party runner. He's all like, hey guys, I'm hosting his party. Here's a bunch of fucking beer and shit. But what he really just wants is just to have a threesome and swap your boyfriends around. This is really just like a soy boy poacher. Oh shit, indicators! You notice how they didn't give you the vulture that's in- or the fucking roach that's incredibly over- Yeah, I wonder why. Where the fuck is Kerrigan?! Get your fucking Zelnaga ass over here, idiot! She's gravitating around. She doesn't fly, dude. She can't fucking fly. So she has to, like, hover around on the platform. Your zerglings are, uh, very interested in that marine or something over there. Yeah, those are my roachlings, dude. They're so epic. Oh, uh -oh. I ordered them to focus one unit and then I lost all of my fucking frames. I can't tell who is who in this map. Because... All of the recolored Amon glaze units are dark and blend into everything. I lose them amidst all the shit. You can't see the red very well. But then all of the Zerg units are also dark because of their fucking specularity and the lighting. So I, I couldn't even. I didn't even know those were even enemies. I thought those were all your units. I wish they were all my units. This crystal rampage really construct. Help. Oblivion construct, dude. I can't hear anything. What the fuck is happening? Oh, he was taking down some terrain, and he had to destroy my fucking eardrums to do it. Apparently. Mm hmm. <laughs> Loud in this war, man. Yeah, it's competing with the fucking dialogue. I can't even do anything. That's, that's what happens when all your sound effects are already super hyper compressed. They have to hyper compress it even more. Oh no, he's Wait, gonna what? strike your high cluster. How am I supposed to keep track of anything, dude? What is it you require? Void, man. Oh, I forgot that fucking teleports my own units. Jesus Christ. Lol. That's okay, I'm sure your allies will take advantage to attack the crystals. No, they send like three dragoons at it or something. That's that's a lot of units, man. Hi. Uh, whoa, XD. Oh. I'm gonna go piss, and I hope that this is done by the. If only. It won't be done. Spoiler alert. Head my way. 
My men are already after it. What is even happening? What an unreadable mess. Why do they keep spawning crystals, dude? And why do the crystals stay so... They have such insane hitboxes. Go fuck this crystal up, dude. I just have like a bunch of money for the fuck of having money. Alright, whatever, dude. We killed a single crystal. That's pretty exciting. Got this. They're just spawning crystals. Here's another one that we can attack. They all say vulnerable crystal, but they're not actually vulnerable, so. That's also tested. I mean, they're vulnerable technically, but. Like, what the fuck am I gonna do with that information? Oh, our fucking dialogue is cutting out, just like the mothership was. What a psychotic experience. We almost have tier 2. There appears to be some lasers. Allegedly. Hi. Oh yeah, I have all of all of these fucking units that aren't even doing anything. Alright, bye. Oh man. I think Blizzard figured out the recipe here. They've got uh, the infinitely respawning bullies that just appear. They've been recycling that ever since Ire. That's the key, man. That's the key to making a successful build and destroy map, apparently. Oh shit, happening? dude, there's some indicators. Going down on my mom. Mm -mm -mm. I'm sorry. You should be. There has been nothing of any value or impact that has happened to this entire sequence. No. I strike at the enemy. Oh shit, she's getting focused or some Oh! Okay, oh, back. she's gonna die, you lost the mission, sorry. No. Oh never mind, she'll be revived in sixty seconds. We wouldn't want you to lose this mission. Dude, what the fuck? What? What is that range, man? <laughs> the Oblivion Construct is uh, teaching you all about Bethesda programming here. Where? Uh, I don't understand. Like, what is the point in fighting the crystals? Well, lore-wise, they let Amon suck the. What I mean, they're not even the objective, though. Like, what? Why do? Why do they even exist? Yeah, I mean, it seems like the best way to fight this map is actually just to defend with carry again and use air units. I vaguely remember doing that earlier. But... What can you do? I guess we'll move to this vulnerable crystal up here. I strike at the enemy. Oh, I have twin drones. I had no idea. Oh! 
XD. They're just spawning shit on top of me, dude. Uh, void. 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 My man. My man's. Void. I agree. We are in. You better watch out, cause when you stare in the void, the goat stares back. When you expand your lower to the higher, you will be enlightened. You will ascend into the depths of your own asshole. It's a good thing ground attacks can attack the flying crystal. You cannot hide behind Dude, that's two out of seven. No, the crystals. Save the failed. To the end of all things. Save <laughs> What the fuck? What is happening? You broke it, dude. Everything you touch turns to shit. I'm inclined to believe. Are you ready to play that low econ one base? Dude, what is happening? Stop playing sound effects. He's having an orgasm. Oh shit! Now he's laughing at me, dude. It would be kind of neat if you like had to use transport and you slowly like destroyed the map. But he only seems to target really specific places. Uh, yeah, they're all pretty scripted. Or if you like reshape the map, spawning places, but the engine doesn't actually support that. Oh no, one carrier! It has a fucking re repair drone, but it's not using it for some reason. Artanis was, uh... Well, he suffered a lot of brain damage back in the war. Now it all becomes clear. Oh, hi guys. Bye. Here comes a ball. It testicled me. Nice over compressed crunching noise there, Blizzard. Gotta make it epic, huh? Yeah, I just spawn more shit. It's like the only it. sound in the entire fucking stream that's loud. So I can't imagine how fucking deafening it is when your volume is normal. Hi. The carrier is really helping you out. <laughs> it's really a trooper, dude. Some serious fucking misery over here, man. Yeah, just spawn in more, dude. Go for it. There's some indicators on the ground. I don't want to look at them. You have to, man. See? Mm. No, I'll just sand in them. I can just heal through them, actually. Aliens attacking my hive cluster. Minions, flee now! Oh, I'm sorry. My destiny. She says aim on like I'm supposed to know it's like a specific attack. <laughs> what else are we fighting, you fucking moron? Texas. I was forced to become this just as you were. Torn from everything I knew. Dude, he's just misunderstood, man. Don't you guys see? Infinity unravels before me. Man, that's infinity. So epic, dude. Wow. Blizzard knows how to write a compelling story. They sure do. Speak to me. I cannot. 6,000 HP, baby. 
That's 2,000 HP more than the Ultralisk. Oh, Amon's affixed to the side of my camera? Or I don't know what's going on there. He's a... He's a... Uh, he's affixed to your asshole. That would seem. Uh... This mm. is not over. Save failed. <laughs> what is save failed? What's that. up with that? You broke you broke the game, man. Oh, okay. I have no gas, so losing stuff like this is actually pretty bad. Oof. Rainer's just getting fucking bullied. Oh man, there's still so many. His own tower was there, and he didn't give a shit. <laughs> he has to make sacrifices to get at his waifu. I guess so. My command center's about to fall. Sarah, we're running out of time here. Ooh, okay. Guess I gotta load my save, one of the saves that actually worked. Oh, never mind, none of these work at all. Right? They're all fucked. Unable to. <laughs> That's a pretty good bit. That's Whatever. amazing. I'll just go full uh, air. I don't remember if I could even morph those fucking mutas into anything. Oh, the new tip. Hey man, you gradually destroy parts of the battlefield, including your base. Expect a new resource locations will help ensure your survival. It's too bad there isn't. There's like two sh things right next to me, dude. What is it you require? We require more. Oh, I have no money right now. Wow, it's weird. Oh, dude, she has a lens flare attached to her. The void crystals mm -hmm. open Amon, projecting his void barrier at the height of their dreams. Void, 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 void. May as well just call them Voidinator. Voidinator 5000! Three. I gotta spread a lot of creep, that's what I gotta do. Dude, I feel like I'm cheating or something at a, an insane play, playing at an insane game speed. Should be vulnerable to our attack soon. My warriors will engage it shortly. Do you remember dirty tank defense? I remember uh, nigger defense. Oh, it's sort of like the same thing, I guess. That was the amazing thing about Warcraft 3. There was no censorship. You didn't have to worry about any of that. So yeah, you had gay porn and the mini maps. You had the uh, hentai map that Ricky hosted. You had nigger defense. Oh, that's another good bit. Take a look at uh, when creep tumors spawn in from uh, Swarm Queens. Oh. Wait for it. No. See how they cloak? That's Blizzard. Wait. <laughs> what? They cloak. But they're not even cloaked. Those ones aren't cloaked. They're cloaked. By the way, why do they make uh, distortion? Why do they what? The creep tumors make little... Fractal pulses. Amon shall meet. Uh, speak. 
You're gonna get fucked up by the exact same attack he got fucked up the first time around. Nah, oh, dude, I got this. Huh. Oh my fucking ping! I get it! Ping more, ping more, daddy. Oh shit, you got fucked. Nah, no, dude. I got this. Doesn't it just regenerate life anyway? Misery right there. Oh, it does a thousand damage. Get destroyed. You know, it's funny how she went from having a map-wide beam that destroys 4,000 health in seconds to being largely useless outside of... Ah, I got one creep tumor off, dude. Checkmate. Brood Lord! Dude, I can mass mustaches. Are you ready oh, for that? Oh, why? Ready for the fucking slowest moving unit in the game? Yeah, but this map is like 96 by 96. I guess that is true. And technically you're using Kerrigan to move around anyways. Those ribbons look so fucking bad. They don't even update at 30 FPS still. Which ribbons? Hers. I mean, all of them are like that. They're all limited by the same thing. Like, they're moving. They're so low poly and they're so fucked up. Uh, I can't build vipers. Sham, you can't yank crystals around. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing for anti-air, though. Uh, devourers, obviously. You can't morph those. Oh, uh, alt F4. Seems like it. Damn, this can't be good. Ground shaking under our boots here. Uh, don't be a baby. Oh, music! Dramatic, man. Which one's it gonna go through? <gasps> oh, we got one through. I like how those aren't detectors. Swarm is well prepared. I have like three combat units to <laughs> Ah! Faked you out, dude. <laughs> I'm sending out some warriors to intercept it. I strike at the enemy. You got him, Kerrigan. Ah, tentacled. There you go, that's enough. Alright, dude. I got this now. Oh, no. Ah, uh. oh, getting zapped, dude. I don't know. All right, they're fully regenerated because they have a passive or something. Oh, what? It just gets healed? Void crystal swinging by again. Raiders, let's help bring that thing down. Oh, 
That's another what the fuck. I just have instant overlords for some reason. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's an, an anim that's an animation, dude. Holy moly. You like that. Birdlings are just the mustaches are spawning in from somewhere. Not quite sure how. I like how that thing is just being healed. So the strategy does not appear to actually work at all. I like that the mustaches are still appearing on the other cliff. They were. Hmm. Oh! Okay, bye. Lol. Oh, I he teleported a bunch friends. of brood lords? What the f- or brood mustaches? What the fuck? Well, they made them. That's just how many you have. Oh, okay. You got it, man. Whatever you say. Can I get a chrono boost or something? Mustache, by the way. Seismic disturbance detected. It appears Amon has chosen to attack my nexus point. Got some mustaches. But where is your deep dark crystal fantasy, eh? I don't know, man. It's hiding. Oh, hi. When they impact, they just make the crystal bleed. I don't even know how that's possible. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright, it seems to be working okay now. Hi. I sense Amon's focus Hello. to my school. We must evacuate before he attacks. Uh, okay, that only hits Grand. Oh dear. Oh, it ejects fucking damage. debris into the air, but you know. I am cold. What the fuck are these units? The crystals head my way. My men are already huh? after it. Whoa! Ooh. Okay. Infinity unravels before me. Huh. Dude, these units are just sitting here. What the fuck? Oh, I accidentally used an ability that has a five minute cooldown. Hey, stop bullying me, dude. Oh, no. The butter. Butter? Butter. Dude, it's that in my raccoon wounds. What's a boy to do? See, Amon just randomly attacks areas of terrain entirely unrelated to where you are. Or is that the movement of crystals? I can't fucking tell. No, it's like specific areas. Oh, he's probably creating terrain objects. That's probably what it is. Say ah! failed. I don't know about that. <laughs> Medicine's hacked into your computer. 
What did I ever do to him, dude? You've existed. Torment. Aren't you supposed to like ignore these and just attack the void crystals? Probably. I don't really know. That's what I think you're supposed to do in this map. I guess I'll Is just that fly a map around. Why teleport? Uh, yeah. I guess we'll just fucking fly over here and give him kisses. Hi. What are you gonna do to me, dude? Avoid your neg holes. I feel your power weakening, Amon. <laughs> All right, buddy. SCVs, evacuate the command center. That whole area is going down. All shining one, the light. Should probably take these two uh, units over here. I got massive lag as soon as I looked over in that area. What is there? Just four left? That one flew away. Let's walk over here and give him a kiss or something. Oh, I just throw an ultra at me, dude. Oh, shit! Oh, oh, oh. How the fuck do they do so much damage to her immediately? She doesn't have that much health. She only has a thousand health. That's like three ultras and there's a million marines and they're probably upgraded. And I can't upgrade her. How the fuck am I supposed to go anywhere? I guess I can come over here. What is it you require? Hi. Oh, I have an aberration. <laughs> I don't know how that one is. <laughs> hey, leave them alone, dude. Oh, I don't even know where she is. Uh! Say failed. Say failed. Well, whatever. I'll have enough gas eventually. Leave me alone! Where the fuck is Kerrigan? Oh, she doesn't yeah. have an egg. Where is she? Oh, she's here. She's just fucking sitting around doing nothing. This might not be uh, not be the winning run either. It's hard to tell. Damn it. 
Stop healing it for like 4,000 health, Jesus Christ. Wow, that was a massive hitch, holy shit. Five out of seven. Oh, they killed my last hatchery. Yeah, I, I'm not even sure if bird lords are the answer. I kind of wanted them to be because mustaches are pretty funny. Can't you just teleport to the other crystals and kill them? No, they have to be uh, in creep. And there's no way to really uh, spread creep around at any point. Right now, oh, okay. Bye. Hey, it left me a geyser. That's pretty nice. Force this, just as you were, torn from everything I knew. No, I need that. What the fuck? My destiny. Oh, never mind. I didn't want you to have it. If I had more than one fucking air unit I could build, maybe. Hmm. No, there's just too many spawns. There's no way to kill those anyways, they just re resurrect after 60 seconds or something. Oh yeah, there's no saves. <laughs> Dude, how the fuck are saves broken, dude? It's glorious. It's psychotic. Oh. Alright, well, that was working out for a while, but I just sucked dick at this game, so... Nothing I can do about that one. I guess with my instead of expanding early, I could just go for projecting his void barrier. At the height of their journey, they will cross over the, the gas and uh double spire. Infinity unraveled. Unacceptable command. I don't know, man. It seems like such a fucking boring mission anyways though. There's like nothing to do. Mm -hmm. Two hundred, two hundred, aren't they? The first crystal should be vulnerable to our attack soon. Yeah, I think if, maybe if we do it uh, quicker, it'll be a little bit different. And maybe if we spread creep around, so we have a bit more map control. Teleport to more places. We require more minerals. Unacceptable command.
Why do they play the same fucking music? This is supposed to be the epic license. epilogue. That was all they could license, man. They didn't have the money. Oh yeah, I guess I am supposed to walk up here and kill this since it's not even defended. Let's see how these void crystals fare against my new power. Amon's construct is reached in long Not the biting! Oops, blow up a crypto room. The final stand begins now. This is my burn to I cannot delay. My destiny now. Hmm. My destiny. Will I be able to do it? Probably not. My boys are heading to it. The first crystal is down. His barrier weakens. What is it you require? Now Rainer's on the hunt over here. Yeah, I think with just good creep spread, it should be fine. It's just kind of silly. Don't do damage to a building. Uh, is she gonna fucking die? Dude, go fuck yourself. <laughs> In the fucking opening cutscene, she gets focused down by like 30,000 supply worth of units while channeling that ability. And she dies to like five stalkers. In this. Way to put a. Paint a false picture, dude. I want my money back. Oh, whoa, whoa, wee, whoa, spin. I'm dizzy. The void crystals orbit Amon, projecting his void barrier. Dude, I'm really sick of void, void, void. Can't even skip it. That is our moment to destroy them. The fucking mouse is fiddling in my trash can again, dude. <laughs> mouse? <laughs> yeah, there's a little mouse in my room. There's a little goofball. Speak to me. The first crystal should be vulnerable to our attack soon. My warriors will engage it shortly. Use quantum ray. It's not like I'm fucking using it right now, dude. What a disaster. At least I'm 
doing stuff in the early stages of the game, I guess. Just the ambient damage field on top of that, though, is pretty stupid, I think. And really noisy. Well, so far, so good. Hey, we did that before they even attacked me with that thing that always kills me. That's how you know we're advancing. We are becoming an advanced, super superior race. Blonde hair, blue eyes, boys. Zerglings seem like a complete waste like of time here. Over here. My boys are heading to it. But I think I just spammed Hydras when I first did this. I don't really remember though. Not quite a memorable mission, you know. Void. Void. A lot of it. Uh. Oh! Did you hear that? Yeah, something got interrupted. <laughs> Multiple times. Rampage construct, dude. Man, that's spooky. The Torment Constructs use the same uh, sound effect as her Quantum Ray. Yep. That's how you know they put a lot of effort into this game. Waste of time. Whatever, we'll just go kill these idiots. Save failed! Save failed. That's Can like even... burning my soul. Damn. Save failed! Dude, I can't even manually save! That's pretty triple A, man. They worked really hard on this mission. We must set up multiple bases if we are to survive Amon's assault. It is only a matter of time before he comes for the rest of us. Let him come. No. No coming allowed. That's just illegal. Too late. He's already coming. You're swimming in it. That's why they call it the void. Because all he does is shoot blanks. We require more minerals. Another crystal is passing by us soon. I'm sending out some warriors to intercept. Oh, yeah. We can just do this. What's up, bitch? Dumb bitch. Dumb bitch. Uh, uh, maybe we shouldn't have chosen that exact moment, huh? My destiny, man. What is it you require? Game on, shall we? Oof, ah. Getting tenderized. Speak. 
these oblivion constructs just sit here and heal these this guy for over a thousand health at least. It's insane. Alright, we only got this one anyways. What a fucking line, dude. What a line that inspires a lot of confidence, too. Uh. Mm -hmm. Boy, Crystal's swinging by again. Raiders, let's help bring that thing down. What is even happening? Dude, you guys are just sitting here dying. What are you guys even attacking? Besides my brain cells. Those don't count, I'm afraid. I like that units sit there for a little bit before uh, finally killing over and dying. Not my hive cluster. They're not even allowed to do that. The fuck? You have been sexually assaulted by the Jewish Inquisition. What are you gonna do? Say it failed, dude. I struck at the enemy. Seismic disturbance detected. It appears Amon has chosen to attack my nexus point. It appears that Amon has chosen to spawn in an insane amount of units. As usual. This is fucking MO after all. What are they doing? Dude, look at the number of un of uh, structures. I will BRB. Alright. I expect the void to have engulfed you like a head uh, head crab and then inseminated you. Like no, it's probably a, uh, not that far off. Medicine. Uh, Alright, we're gonna go for this area over here. Hope that it works out. We're actually not too far off from our goal here, I don't think. Especially when the units are spread out like this, it's a lot easier to handle them. And they're sending uh, some Voidmen. Particles, dude. Have some decency, please. Is 
Why does this have to happen? I am Kum. I am Kum. There we got it, dude. Amon Shaman, do you feel that? Your end approaches. A creep tumor is under attack. How many creep tumors are going to be under attack, huh? Amon Goat. Oh, what's up, dude? Can't say goat though, that's uh. Goat? Do you see a goat? What is Are you a man? member of the lemon party? You ever fit into a jar with another guy? I like that I have a couple of roaches that are sitting here idle, dude. I'm cosplaying as Amon's forces. Do you wear a miniskirt? Sort of. Zerg here? My Definitely Zerg here. Why does that lag the game so much? Mm, overdraw probably. Mm, well, it's just Blizzard's, their spawn effect. Blizzard is very, very notorious at being incapable of programming, so. There's probably something in there that's so unbelievable that even if you knew it, you wouldn't believe it. SCVs, evacuate the command center. That whole area's going down. My By the way, those are attacking your tumors, but they weren't doing any damage. Uh, they were ch chasing my uh, drone or roach or whatever that no, was. No, they're attacking your tumors and they're doing no damage. I'm fucking watching them. Oh yeah, well they don't uh, splash on cloaked units or something probably. It seems silly. It is silly. It's exceptionally silly. Fucking mouse is having a field day in my background. Are you gonna go eat it? If I could catch it, yeah, absolutely. This seems like an okay combo so far, man. Really, the issue is now going to be to get enough map control that I can sp go around the map without dying. Got to rebuild some queens. They don't follow rally points like normal units, so kind of feels pretty gay to even use them at all. Cool, we can spread some more creep. I guess we'll come over here and give this a kiss. Supply. Holy fucking pre-placed shit. It's not even pre-placed. It's just shit. I apparently my max supply? I guess it's all in my fucking mutas, because I got no idea where anything is. Oh, here's a bunch of shit. Just sitting here doing nothing. Hi. No. Oh! Alright. Let's go give him a kiss, dude. Oh, that Void Ray! Alright, 
Where do these... What the fuck? Where do these units even come from? Don't say the void, because we're there. The void. Just pushing this fucking button on cooldown. Stop giggling, dude. It's mean. Alright, gotta shut out some tumors. Oh, yeah, I gotta come back over here. Gotta get fucking spawned on. That's great. Man, what a slog, dude. What a bunch of inconvenient shit. Just have to constantly come back to these areas and re-smash them. Meanwhile, my Protoss buddies are over here fucking... I guess they're spinning or something. I don't know what's happening. That aura will target air units, but only actually do damage to ground units. <laughs> it seems like it was probably something they changed for co-op or something, and then forgot that they used it in the campaign in this context. Because I remember it. I feel like I remember it actually impacting uh, air units before, but... And then they just spawned 69 more things. Holy shit, they spawned four shit on... Four towers of 3,000 HP on top of me. And they melt this fast, too, at this point, which is, like, the more insane thing. I'm not even fully upgraded yet. Yeah, we get it. Creep tumor under attack. I don't know. Hi. Oh, thank you. Uh, whoa! Uh, what? No, not my drones! Hashtag! More like hashtag, if you know what I'm saying. And I know you know what I'm saying. Uh. Minions, flee now! Flee, by the way. Should have just let him die. Fucking Christ. Do I still have queens? I have one. I was forced to become this just as you were. Torn from everything I knew. I guess we'll kill this fucking idiot. Oh wow, my allies are doing something. It's crazy. Hi. Oh, sometimes they do seem to follow rallies. It's so weird. Hi. What a ridiculous fucking... Like, that creep tumors are this powerful, and yet the AI has no detectors, basically, besides, like, the occasional overseer that gets spawned in and then d mm -hmm. ignores creep tumors for some reason. I can't believe that. I mean, I can believe it, but I really shouldn't believe it. Sort of like what you were talking about earlier. Oh, my fucking creep tumors, dude. Hi.
I really gotta spread more creep, I think. It's the only way. I can't, I can't actually tell if these volcanoes, these void chasms, are the source of the attack waves. It's like, as far as I know, man, these are all just spawned in from off the map. Whatever, dude, you're not a victory condition. See, look, they... They hit two roaches with that. That's pretty pretty effective, man. Speak to what is it you Void Riz, just fucking bouncing around. I haven't seen a mission objective for like eight years. Oh, never mind. The one that I was think down we there in the bottom right. North of the Protoss. Yeah. Well, there's two left, but yeah, okay, they're there. They're both over there. I'll see if I can sneak by and attack them without dying. Well, the problem here is that Kerrigan's the only one getting hit by the units. Besides, like, a queen or something. And, oh, and she gets yamato on top of it. I don't, they don't do any damage. Wow, and in, in work... Warcraft 3 out of combat just means not taking damage, but in Starcraft 2... You better not be taking any damage, dude. You better not be in a combat, either. Oh, go fuck yourself, dude! You <laughs> <laughs> kind of jitter around it. There's that word again, asunder. I'm just gonna walk past it at this point. It's getting healed again. Aim on this, aim on that, dude, go fuck yourself. I am so fucking bored! There's just nothing! <laughs> you asked for this. No, I didn't. This is fucking You wanted misery. the pain. Now you have to pay the penis, Piper. Oh my god. They just spawn these things that heal them, and it's... What a miserable experience. 
Hey, Mon, go away. All right, fuck this, dude. I, I can't even. <laughs> oh man. I saw Amon momentarily. Still have to restart from scratch because there's no saves in this one mission. This one mission just has no saves for some reason. How do you feel about your StarCraft 2 experience? This last mission is so arbitrarily difficult. It's not even, it's just annoying. That's it, man. That's the whole experience. I'm just going on Hydra Roach again. These air units are mostly an inconvenience, it seems. I'm turning the sound off, fuck this. They should have said they orbit his void, as his void. Uh. Mm -hmm. The world is void. And void. Well. Sister moving over here, crying to myself. The first crystal should be vulnerable to our attack soon. My warriors will engage it shortly. Let's see how these void crystals fare against my new power. Amon's construct. His reach is long here in the world. He will attack us at every turn. Oh! I have big overlords that morph instantly. I am I will never cease to be amazed by the amount of fucking gay work they did. Got my creep out, dude. Check out my creep. I am called. What is it you require? A new age. Void. <laughs> oh, wow, man. I contributed, man. You always got me when I'm feeling down. Remind me what it's like to live a life. I remind you of the void. What it's like to inhale it. To imbibe it. You ever inhaled another man's void before? Hmm? That is a point where I am uh, lacking in life experience. Wow. Well, wow, that, that laser was a void, man. me, though. Not under attack, don't lie to me. Void. Your void is under attack. Your warranty is void. It is void. It's all void. Oof, ah. Watch. Rip.
Ay, ay, ay. I forgot I don't have to actually research any upgrades or anything. That's the real insanity. Get him, Hammer Securities. Hummer Securities. In what world is a player playing on brutal difficulty and needs to be told in the final mission when there's spaces right next to them that are free? Hey, make sure you set up bases. Like, that's so insane to me. Uh, people who play a Blizzard titles. That hydro was definitely fucking dead, but whatever floats your boat, I guess. Void crystal swinging by again. Raiders, let's help bring that thing down. Oh man, I look back at the real wrong time there. Just got mad. It's getting healed from halfway across the map, dude. Can't make this shit up. opportune moment to pop in and snipe away an objective. Yeah, he doesn't get weaker though, he gets stronger, so this is kind of a fucking asinine statement to make. Void crystal. I think these people sound way too calm for being in an alternate dimension. Facing a god. 
in his natural habitat. What do you think? I don't think Blizzard ever tried to have any quality assurance for their voice. They have, they have a lot of big names they're voicing in this game, and they sound bored as because the people making the game were as bored as fuck, and neither of them gave a shit. They both had this subconscious mutual agreement that nobody would bother putting in effort because nobody was ever asked to put in effort. And what do you know? The end product exudes that. Surprise, surprise. You know, something buggered up with StarCraft 2, you can't even import these models into 3DS Max anymore. I saw you were uh, discussing that earlier while I was streaming fucking Undertale. No. I sent Taylor Mouse a PM on Zentax, but who fucking knows if he's even alive anymore. This shit is spawning fucking shit on me. For seemingly no reason, considering the fact mouth. that there's nothing here. He's after that crystal meth, man. He sent his jockeys out there to get it. He's too fucking lazy to get it on his own. That's when the Prozac hits. I don't know how I was supposed to fucking read that that was happening on top of the... Uh, everything else that I've been experiencing. It's okay, roaches are still alive, they're just stuck. By the way... Same bail. If whatever you tried to say, man, I couldn't hear anything. That's good. It'll be a mystery. I was reading something on the screen. Was it that I have three left? Three? Three. Maybe you're reading my gas? Do you have gas? I have 4,000 gas. Does this game give you gas? Not on screen. I know it's giving me gas. Dude, these things look so fucking out of place. And they have insane fucking collision sizes, too, so... They couldn't be bothered to get them unique sound effects. They have sound effects in the game they're not using they could have used for them. They didn't bother. Not worth it. Nobody will ever play this fucking mission anyway, so why would anyone care what the sound effects are? Deep dark fantasies, dude. Oh, is that what he said? I don't know. Are you a leather man? Are you the dungeon master? Male genders? I don't know what I am, but... Oh my god, it's healing! Fuck! Dude, no. I just lost everything because it just sat there healing the whole time. XD. 
It's such an epic game, dude. At least they're not called end bringers like in World of Warcraft. Sadly, I wish I was joking, but you know, I'm not. <laughs> Uh, Tony. Tony got creative. That pizza, real fine, like. You know who would have been a suitable final boss for this game? Muscular Pengu. I don't know who that is. You don't know Pengu? Man, you're missing on some fucking classic Australian lore there. I don't even, I barely know who I am half the time, so You don't smoke enough weed. Smoke the devil's lettuce, you'll find out who you are, who you really are. A new age. I have to fucking grind through all the basic structures that are just sitting here, collecting dust. Just like my prostate. Prepare to eat the balls. Mm, swirl Can't them even around fucking find it. Mouth. That's the one that, uh, that stun one that is also the one that sits there and heals it. So it's like absolutely imperative I fucking kill this thing. I don't know how he knows that, anyways. I mean, besides him playing the same mission, he's over a fucking and over again, telepathic man. man. Oh, my fucking checkpoint save failed. By the way, save failed. Oh, is that what you were reading earlier? Yeah. Oh. I'm so. reading it out again in case you missed it. Fucked up your creep tumor and walked 360 degrees. Went back to the X boner. This would be an MLG gamer like a man titties. Dude, why does man tits hate his own name so much? Because he is known first and foremost for streaming himself jacking off to Team Liquid. Is that real? No, that's the only thing he's known for at all. Well, other than the slurping, I guess. It is real. I wouldn't have known unless he told me. What a reasonable guy. I gotta go there. I mean, it's not like he was ever popular or anything. There's probably only like four or five people. But those four or five people got a real peep show, I guess. Dude, why does he just fucking start moaning and coming on me? I don't think he's the only person related to StarCraft who's done that either. Or maybe it was League I'm thinking of. There was someone who was actually really popular that, uh... Well, you're, you might be thinking of Loco Doco, who streamed himself jacking. That was in League, though. Oh, maybe. Although he was doing it, he also is famous for saying, "Jay Dong, I want to suck your. I would snort cocaine off your cock." <laughs> but he's not even. Gay. Well, he's probably he's pretty a homo. But I don't think there was a like... guy from CDG who. Uh... Oh wait, hold on. We win. He streamed himself getting swatted. Or... Well, that's Graham. Oh, dude. I just zoned back in to the realize that that was a map. Those fucking ribbons. Look at the aliasing in the background, dude. 
<laughs> and my retinas, and Shake then the, the screen scene just dude. is completely oh, different now. Laser. That looks pretty good. We transitioned into a really poorly compressed but still shitty looking pre-rendered thing. Go, Jim. Oh. She well. shot a laser into his forehead and... And then she said, go, Jim. Why couldn't it have been three years later? You know, that's a real missed opportunity. Oh my god, that band -Aid. That, oh my, that looks so bad. Holy shit. I'm sure the stream is contributing, but. What, the fan? The gradients and the yeah, color compression. The fan. It's pretty obvious there. I'm half asleep, so I'm gonna miss everything probably. His face, the fucking checkerboarding from the shadow. You know, Matt, someday, someday I'm gonna listen to a bunch of fucking recaps. Flashbacks. Well, we got that fucking lens dirt uh, dust effect we gotta put on everyone. Else. This game looks just as shitty as when it came out in 2010, dude. They made no advancements. No. This looks worse than Time Splitters 2. That door looks really low res too. You notice how they just couldn't do pre rendered stuff anymore? Like, this is pre recorded, but it's not rendered. Then we gotta play that Eastern Stinger again. Then he's gotta do that line drop. And there you, there you go, boys. There you go, there you have it. I like to imagine that Jim Rayner actually was just drunk out of his fucking mind and executed himself. And that's why he was never heard from again. He like, I like to hope or that he, he like went in back into the train. void and died. He's like I like to think he killed himself like I would kill myself watching that fucking cinematic. <laughs> then they <sighs> gotta have this fucking epilogue text as if anybody gives a fucking shit. Yeah. Well, the Dominion entering an age of prosperity. And, and you notice how now the uh, art direction for these uh, screens has completely changed from everything else. Like, this is a ripoff of Homer. I rip off of what? Homeworld 2. I've never played it. And now we're uh, back into some low resolution shit again. I just think it's all a fucking laughing stock, dude. What do you think this would have been like if they were allowed to use Sarah Bretts and Games Workshop said it's okay? Well, they would have had less cringy side Zerg characters with the Sarah Bretts being both familiar and more just coherent with what the fuck the Zerg are meant to be. They would have they would have had like less accidental incidental re retcons. Where the queens are like, I have a actual Man, our, our fucking shit of getting uh lower and lower and lower detail as we go along. Strange regular growth of life on formerly barren planets, so oh. Wow, that's so mysterious. We've got to set up for the next uh, game that's going to involve the Eldar of the Revenge. This game was a fucking embarrassment start to finish. I am so embarrassed for Blizzard for releasing this shit. I don't understand how anybody could release I mean, sure, you're getting paid for it, but don't you care at all about your dignity and your public image? Dustin Browder! Yeah. And Metzen. United together. Metzen and Wag. It's probably a Chinese man that just sat on Metzen's desk, wiggling his dick in front of him, getting the sucking of a lifetime. And the math really added to the experience. And uh, here's some shit. really strange things in here. They're, they're claiming to have artists and... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Level designers. Well, too. they have a real straight. Then they claim to have game designers. They claim to have multiple game designers. Like that's uh, and multiple level designers. Like I don't think so. What does voiceover designer mean? Probably a manager that didn't do his job. Hopefully, someone who got fired for this fucking atrocity. Oh, look at the size of their fucking staff. 
This is how many people made this piece of shit that was literally just like someone's fucking weekend drink of. But the thing is, is people have list of credits for literally anybody who so much as snorted in the office at the... No one fucking did any work on this piece of shit. No one besides the middleware that they licensed. And even then, that's arguable. I, I would really argue have... against that. <sighs> Havoc is such a huge piece of shit, and slapping it apart and then calling it your own physics engine doesn't take you any... I wonder if they actually have the middleware, like, credited in here. Nope. They uh, probably have a license, because they, they, they removed stuff from it and then called it their own. <laughs> so they they very likely don't credit any of that stuff. Uh, Blizzard is real infamous for stealing a lot of stuff from academic sites and things and not crediting it at all. They'll yeah, what's remove the deal any, with Of course, they'll remove anything stuff. from their source. Like, why don't they credit shit? Because that would make them. Oh, there's testing? actually people. Whoa, 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 whoa! Hold the phone. They claim to have testing. Yep. This is their focus, marketers. It's hard to believe that anybody, any one of these people actually like paid any attention to what they were doing at all. Or were even handed the game. Well, I, I heard talk about uh, QA testers being pretty thankless in terms of, or like helpless in terms of what they were allowed to do. Like, all they were allowed to do was try to communicate to the fucking, I think they had to communicate through marketers to the dev team. Yeah, that, that's the other side of the fence. Like, it's not just that these people don't usually hire uh, testers. It's that when they do, they don't use them properly at all. Like, in an ideal circumstance, what you have is you have everybody related to your game systems design at least watching a stream of the tester, and the tester is talking to people, or at least talking to himself, and it's being recorded. And then that is reviewed afterwards by both the tester and the developer is directly involved with every single thing he's tested. There's also unit testing, which is something that a lot of people don't do because they're fucking lazy. And we don't have that in here either. And they didn't do either of that in this game whatsoever, because otherwise we would have not seen so many like sound effects and stuff being recycled. But what usually ends up happening is testing is just an extension of marketing. That's... You know, Blizzard has treated their beta as just PR stunts for a very long time. If anything, the, the betas allow us a window into how utterly incompetent they are because there were so many patch notes and stuff that had no relationship to what the patch actually did. The Infester and the Infestitarians, real infamous for that because they were constantly saying, you know, going back and forth and changes with the Infestitarians and the Infester. And those changes either were or were not happening, like completely out of sync. Because they had an internal development version that somebody documented changes on, and that wasn't the version that was pushed to release. Again, Riot has also infamously terrible for this. Pantheon being a great example. Like, it's fucking... It, it's systematic for Riot to release a patch and then heroes immediately get disabled. <laughs> Yeah, that happens way too often, or happened when I was. And when you know, in. that's happening to Microsoft too with Windows 10 because of the agile development, where you know, finish it later, release it now. Except nobody ever finishes it. Agile development. That's a real funny name for. Fuck you. Basically, yeah. Fuck the consumer. Who cares if the product they get even works or not? Microsoft and Blizzard definitely don't care. You didn't even have functional save games. Like everything <laughs> aside, that's a severe technical issue. Wow, we... This was atrocious. This was atrocious. I wasn't even playing this and I felt physical pain watching it. I fucking literally fell asleep multiple times throughout this. I'm not sure which is actually worse, the fucking Jim Rayner, Lottie Da cutscene at the end, or Tassadar being fucking a Zelnaga the whole time. I guess that is more far-reaching conclusions. But the fact that Jim Rayner kills a god is also pretty fucking goofy. He helped Dude, kill Amon. Did you think when you first played StarCraft that this is where you'd end up? No, that's what I'm saying. Is like, 
Like, if you look at the origin point of StarCraft, like, just take vanilla as an example. You got, like, uh, some goofy shit in there, obviously, but, you know, giant Zerg, you know, they're, they're this massive alien, like, xenomorph uh, copy-paste of Tyranids come in and start wrecking havoc in human space. And then you got these, like, more advanced Eldar-type aliens that come in and fucking annihilate the Zerg. And you're like, oh, shit. And then you, like, get to know the characters a little bit. You're like, all right, you know, this Tassadar guy, he's, like, pretty cool dude. He sacrifices himself to kill the Overmind and try to give his people some hope. Uh, Cerebrates are pretty cool. I hope that I get to see what happens to them in the sequel. <laughs> uh, and then Kerrigan. Yeah. I just can't believe that Tassadar was actually his own naga, and that Jim Rayner goes from just this fucking backwater guy who's like, I'm gonna kill Kerrigan, to not only, like, personally fucking carrying Kerrigan out into the sunset, which he later levitates into in this, the next campaign, but he also is mm -hmm. just a... He assists in the death of a god. Like, he actually kills Amon. Like, that's so crazy to me. <laughs> not that he was actually... Like, he could have been replaced by, like any other character and any other AI or whatever in the entire game and probably we would have had an easier time in that last mission because he was utterly useless but even that's that notwithstanding he was technically there alongside Artanis and Goku fucking son Kerrigan look at these huge marketing teams this is all marketing yeah community man this is just dude. integrated marketing This is larger than their development staff and their alleged testing staff. Just this one section here. That's pretty fucking insane. This, this, is, this is how you succeed in the industry today. It's not by making games, it's by winning at marketing. Blizzard has it easy because of their, exist their existing name, but they literally have an army. Like, just picture all these people sitting in a stadium. We're talking what appears to be just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of fucking people associated solely with integrated marketing, quote unquote. Well, they have more than 10 people. They have double digit employees as marketing managers, let alone these no. people are a part of the actual marketing team. And that's just what they call marketing. That's not even what actually is marketing. Yeah, which, obviously, which obviously they have, you know, all the that. external companies and resources and, you, yeah. know, d you know, data mining firms and stuff like that. They pull in. This is just integrated marketing, whatever that means. Maybe that means like in-house marketing staff. But um, this th this is insanity. Like there was that giant wall of text for some associated development, which is probably just outsource garbage or something. But this is still huge. And now we go into the more... Uh, this is just a vice president's associated with uh, publishing and marketing and stuff like that. And then it's just going to keep growing as soon as we pass the CEOs. Information technology, in other words, that's more marketing. That's uh, social network, data mining, stuff like, you know, relations of tools and management. You see application analysts, analysts. Application design, application engineering. This is all. This this has nothing to do with the game at all. We've long passed any people who have ever actually played this or even seen this game before. This Mike, is all money people maker. associated with collecting and managing data. No, these are the real. These are the real people that made StarCraft Two. They may never have played or even seen what the game looks like, but these are the people who guaranteed its success because they're the ones who told everybody else, "Hey, you need three, and you need purple and green because color theory and shit." And then Dustin Browder probably just sat on his chair and was like, well, I'll do it if I can add orcas to the game and show EA that I won in the end. And they're like, oh, who cares? Do it. We don't give a shit. And then there you go. Orcas, You've got orcas in the game. Dustin Browder gave the finger to EA. And you have a marketing staff that literally you could siege fucking Poland with this and drag N off of Crazy Mountain. Ah. <sighs> To think I almost saved him from Black Tinder. <laughs> Black Tinder. <laughs> a, a good this old is joke. insanity. Like th this is this is why these companies are so fucking huge. Only like two or three people ever have anything like beyond marginal involvement with a game. Because it's all middleware. 
It's all assets and stuff they've outsourced to other companies. Only the two or three people are actually really, really integrated with actually putting all that stuff together. The rest of them are just like super, super, super needlehead specialists that only do the one thing and never communicate with each other. So what that means in Blizzard's case is this is literally how things work. Okay, let's say you've got an asset. Let's say you've got the battle cruiser. Let's say the battle cruiser is in the game, and Dustin Brenner says that doesn't look enough like a plane in space. We need to make it fatter and more dumb. So that's going to tumble back to the person who made the original mesh. And then once he's done, then it's going to go back up to the guy who did the UV wrapping and the textures. And then it's going to go back up to the technical artist who actually put it into the game. And then it's going to go back up to the guy who did the data integration. Like they really do tend to granulate a lot. With these, and I think StarCraft 2 in Wings of Liberty had a, a smaller quote unquote team of like around 40, 50 people, but that's still fucking enormous for a game that literally had no content in it, and most of the art was outsourced off of DeviantArt, anyways. So it wasn't like they had a legion of artists making that game, and that accounted for the 40 fucking things. Is literally they had like the one guy on DeviantArt who kit bashed all this shit together as fast and lazily as possible, and then a bunch of other shit from other games they had deprecated that they then recycled, like the Zalnaga. And then the rest of them just kind of twiddled their dicks for most of the time because they're only there for the one job. They're only there for the one job. And they can't deviate and they don't communicate. They're all little islands. And that's why you waste so much time. So much money. Because all these people are still on the payroll and you're, you're generally paying them just to jack off on Twitter all day. And that's why nothing is connected. Like, as a basic example, the editing for the samples of Artanis between <laughs> the cinematics and in-game. They're like dimensions apart. Because that, that's just literally, like, entirely unrelated people for some reason, even though it's still the exact same fucking thing. You're just editing the same fucking character's dialogue, but for some reason they're completely apart because it, it's, in, like, entirely different teams working on it. That's how fucking segregated they are. It takes five seconds to edit a voice in most cases. Yep. It's nothing, especially for the super, super cheap, simple stuff they did in here. They're using something like Pro Tools. They're applying a maximum fucking compressor to it. And then, you know, reverb, reverse, reverb, reverse. You're, you're fucking done for Blizzard. That's it. That's all they do. Yeah. It's just so insane to me that they ended up having a disparity, despite how fucking simple it is to just take the source files and redo them if you need to. Mm -hmm. It's sad when I can see a game that I know I can do better audio work in than their entire fucking staff that was paid however many hundreds of thousands to millions of dollars that I have better quality assurance than their entire fucking company that I can see the most basic of things that anybody I know, regardless of how old they are, how much experience they have, you know, how little experience they have. I'm talking about people who are literally like 16 years old and only play games to post fucking photos on Tumblr. They notice this shit. They tell me about this shit all the fucking time about busted textures, busted shadows, busted all, all this shit, all this basic ass shit that we can see here. All of this shit. Like Kerrigan's fucking hair in that last cinematic. That was busted. You, you used a pre-recorded cinematic. Why not just pre-render the fucking thing? Your your assets came out of 3DS Max. Just render it. It'll look better. And then you won't have to worry about all this shit that the game engine is holding you back on. Except they, they frapsed the fucking game engine. And they just accepted that it's just going to look like absolute shit. And then they encoded it with fucking... Was it, it wasn't DevX in this, but it probably was sourced from DevX. Um, it was AUG movie video format or something. Whenever I looked at the fucking settings for those, we'll see that they're in fucking TV range format from the fucking 80s and 70s. And um, they're probably uh, limited. Uh, they're probably, uh, what's it? Chroma subsampling is probably set to 420 or some other insane fucking level of compression. Very, very unnecessary. I don't see any Tonys in this list of interns. I'll be very disappointed. There's a, a lot of these people are are most certainly Chinese. Oh, there's Anthony. That counts. They just changed their uh, their first name. There's a lot At least of Chinese, like a lot of Koreans, and a couple mics. 
There's lots of wangs, that's for sure. Wongs, wangs, yang. Blizzard development family. None of these people had anything to do with the game at all. They literally just existed, and therefore they're in the credits. Man, there's some third-party credits for you. B-Zip 2. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, Civet Web, not really familiar with that. Expat uh, Face FX, that's, uh, you can't do custom facial animations on StarCraft 2 because of that. FMOD, uh, Free Type, I'm sure I've heard of that before. ICU, LibCurl, LibJPEG, LibMarisa, yeah, a lot of these I've not heard of anymore. LibPNG, LZ4, LZMA, Mechstar, Metronic, Mototype, OpenSSL. I think that's for Battle.net. Actually, a lot of that's probably for Battle.net. PCRE. <laughs> Snappy, the list goes on. Middleware. SS Lie. Netscape? Ogwarbus. Yeah, you know, uh, Firefox is still Netscape, right? <laughs> oh man. Tom Math Z Lib Additional Technology. Special thanks. Ethnic Flutes. Stargazer, dude. That's a role. Maybe that's an instrument. And these are like gonna be like other companies or other outsourcers. Whoever they hired for their samples, basically. You got the voice actors, dude. Amon actually had a voice actor. He wasn't just Texas. Al Alexi with no... Look at the way they spelled Alexi, dude. Mm. They had some big names in the voice actors. You wouldn't know it by playing the game. Because even people with skill and talent, that gets eroded by bad management. Good management makes even bad people succeed. But good people won't succeed if you don't have good management. Management is absolutely paramount in a project. It doesn't matter what it is, voice acting, sound graphics, gameplay. All of it absolutely must have strong management. We didn't have that in this game at all. We had Blizzard has been historically weak on management. I think only Condor had some sense of management in it. But even then, that really slipped off after D2 Classic. Well, you ready to go into Nova? I think that's all I can take for one day. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm about to fall it's like, asleep anyways. I was it's like 2 a.m. It's uh... But uh, I, I can only hope that because Nova... Nova... <laughs> Man, I'm Canadian and it really fucking shows. Nova Covert will hopefully just be all micro missions, so they won't take three hours a mission to go... I can't believe I'm saying that, but it's just because the build and destroy in this game is so fucking bad that at this point, I'd rather it just not be build and destroy because then it won't consume as much. It yeah, definitely won't consume as much time. We can probably do it all in one video and there's nine maps. So. You know, those files are fucking encrypted still. Yep. I tried, I was doing a full cask extraction and it ran into Nova and it was encrypted. I mean, I'm sure it's probably not a hard encryption to break. It's just, you know, do I want to ask somebody to actually decrypt it for me? Because I doubt there's really too much in there that's something good, especially when I can't even open normal M3s. As a... I don't know what the fuck happened. Maybe Taylor Mouse is, has an answer if he's still alive and hasn't died to Prozac over overdose. Or... I have the co-op maps, but I was not able to get my hands on the Nova ones. Uh, it's so weird that they encrypted those, but not any of the other like expansion pack stuff, because that's a DLC, so that's special. Yeah, the thing about most of these DLC systems is their authentication is actually just a plain text file. <laughs> so if you just know where to find it, you just flip a text file and you own everything. That's the case with like ninety nine percent of games. I'm not even joking. I heard something about that where, like, a lot of the uh, DLC was actually on disc for, like, these early, like, last-gen console games or whatever, like Mass Effect yep. 3 or whatever. You just, like, they'd have these day one DLC packages, and the the download for the DLC was, like, a one kilobyte text file that just unlocked yep. it for you. You know, it's, it's so sad coming out of StarCraft 2 because... 
e- even if I didn't have like control over the assets, I see so many ways you could turn this game into something that was actually worth playing. So many simple, simple fucking ways. But they try so fucking hard to over-engineer everything into gimmicks, and yet all the gimmicks are exactly the fucking same. You literally played that same defense mission like three times in a row. Yeah, there was the Zelnaga Temple mission on Shakuras, and then there was the finale Salvation, the one that I had to play like 30 fucking times over, and then there was the Rainer one. So that's three in just one fucking campaign. Obviously, you also have the the Chrysalis mission and the Heart of the Swarm, and then you have the all-in mission in Wings of Liberty. So across three campaigns, they used it five times. It's pretty depressing that they're like carbon copies of each other. It would be one thing if they had like genuine twists on them, but they really don't. It's just the same bullshit. It's so depressing too because in these in these epilogues you see that they have missions with allies and bases and you think, well, we're finally gonna be able to play some build and destroy. And like they try their absolute darndest every trick in the book to keep you away from actually playing build and destroy for the entire fucking campaign. And I just I I, I don't get it. It always comes back to that. Like the graphics are easy to fix, the sounds easy to fix, the voice acting is easy to fix. All that's easy to fix. But at the heart of it is the gameplay being so dull and so unengaging. I've never heard of a single person who's ever told me the gameplay in any of these was not boring as fuck. Like, StarCraft 2 in general is just really, really unengaging. Most people get that effect where they feel really, really sleepy watching it. I have seen that feedback ever since it first came out, is it's just really, really not fun to watch. And it's not just because of the readability is hard to follow or whatever, it's just because there's like no life behind what's happening. It's also because the context of what's happening isn't interesting. Death balls ramming into each other just is ex- isn't exciting. It just isn't exciting, these low, low-scale low death balls. And there's ways you can address that. It's a huge thing to address that in itself, much larger than just, you know, fixing up the graphics and tightening up the particles and the sounds and stuff like that. Actually fixing the gameplay takes some problems, you know, some some challenges to overcome because 3D is bad and it's always been bad. And anybody who tells you 3D was good for StarCraft has no fucking idea what they're talking about whatsoever. You really should just ignore them because this game has no reason to be 3D. It has not taken advantage of a single thing that 3D offers to it. The pathing is still 2D. It doesn't even support collision meshes of all things. The maps are all 2D. The engagement in terms of your unit movement and the unit versus unit interactions, those are all 2D as well. The only thing 3D does is make it harder to read because instead of it being orthographic, it's now perspective. And that depth is going to create lots of problems in the same sense that 3D platforming is a meme. 3D platforming doesn't exist. It's always insanely frustrating everywhere you go, no matter the title, no matter the control scheme. It's a meme, which is why people just don't do it if they're trying to make a 3D game, because they know, well, this is going to be an exercise in frustration because perspective makes it really, really, really hard because you just don't have the sensory responses in 3D they do in actual real life, and it just doesn't translate to staring at a fucking 2D monitor. Uh... Which would give virtual reality a hope is that you could actually do 3D properly in there, but it's not going to happen. So we enter StarCraft where uh, a game needs to be readable and needs to convey everything correctly, and they didn't make any effort to do that. Plus, it's 3D, so it's already bad off the start. So, like, with StarCraft 1, you know, or any, any of these fucking 2D RTSs, they, they're like like the Korean ones that rip off a Starker and whatever. They have like the shittiest fucking graphics. And, you know, half of the units are rendered with perspective on like fucking mongoloids. And they're still more readable than StarCraft 2 because everything's on a fucking orthographic projection. Even like Diablo 2, for example, again, orthographic projection. And the way that the distances and stuff like that, it's all linear. So it's very, very easy for your eyes to just innately expect the ranges of stuff once you're accustomed to them. It's not so easy to do that in 3D. The collision of stuff is much harder. And that's why we started throwing in things like those air unit indicators because people just can't fucking figure that out where things actually are. 
But now we've thrown in indicators everywhere on top of it. This is before we even get into spell indicators. We've thrown in unit indicators to tell you where air units actually are because you can't fucking tell where they are in terms of their collision because it's 3D and they're they're maybe displaced, but their collision is up here. And their actual physical presence is down there. It's relevant for a psionic storm because psionic storm in StarCraft 2 is displayed at the ground level instead of the air level. So you don't see it colliding with the air units, but it's actually doing damage. And then, yeah. What an insane fucking in. way to surrender Psy Storm when it's going to hit air units. It's so silly. You make a column. You make it a column. You make it a block, which is going to... It's still not a perfect solution because now it's going to block more of the terrain, but you can make it less dense. So there, there's definitely ways you can do it. That's what the technical artist's job is supposed to be. A techni technical artist doesn't create stuff. He makes the stuff that exists and then makes it in the game and then makes it work well in the game. So, you know, I was a technical artist in StarCrafts. Carbot was the one who made the actual art. I was the one who put in the particle effects and, and portraits and graphics and stuff like that. And the technical artist is supposed to be like, well, this should look like this in this game. So the technical artists in StarCraft II were some of the weakest of their entire art division, period. Warcraft Three was pretty strong for art at its time, particularly for particle effects and technical art. I have never seen any other RTS in that timeline that even comes close to Warcraft 3. This game is worse than Warcraft 3 by leaps and bounds. It doesn't take advantage of the technology, it doesn't take advantage of any of the lessons they learned in Warcraft 3, and it looks so much fucking worse. The technical art in this game is some of the weakest of all games released since Warcraft 3. It is bad. Bad, 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 bad. All of it is bad. Every single last bit of it is bad. The lights are overblown. There's lens flares everywhere. The particles don't match the effects. There's no particles matching the power of actual in-game elements. There's, since there was no communication between stuff and no management, nobody tried to match the way that effects look to the actual power of units. When you, re you wouldn't realize looking at them that Marines are some of the most powerful units in the game. You wouldn't realize looking at them that those immortal guns are doing 200 fucking damage. You wouldn't realize looking at the motherships or whatever that their base damage is so fucking high because there is, there is no correlation between the effects and the impact. So that makes a mess for reads in itself. But it's also just all the effects look the fucking same. They've got that one billboard uh, sheet the one animated texture they use for Terran fire, and they use it for almost every other fire in the game. Most of the doodads, the Protoss explosions, the Red Void explosions, a chunk of the Zerg effects, they all use the exact same texture, which means that even if they're colored differently, they still halfway look the same. They're just recolored. Therefore, you have no identity between stuff that's going on. This is used for everything. Siege tank, muzzle flash. Siege tank, impact. Explosions on buildings, fire effects on buildings, Building death animations, air unit death animations, missile impacts, spells. It's all the same fucking one or two animated sheets, and they all look the same. And they're just a circular afterburn effect that was turned into a sheet. When it should have only been used for the one effect, say the Terran building fires. And that's it. That's it. And because their lights are way too fucking bright, like, let's say the marine muzzle flash light is a 1.0. That should be dropped to about 0.2 or 0.25, somewhere around there. So it's very subtle. So you look at it, you can see the lights, and you can see the muzzle flash is generating light, and that register you register you as graphical detail, but not as it is right now where marines in these super contrasted lighting flicker between black and then white, back and forth, creating this massive sea of contrasting colors you don't want that that's why all these games have the super washed out fag colors where they don't put any detail into the textures anymore because they don't understand how to make things readable against it like league of legends dota 2 team fortress 2 etc is because well we don't understand what's going on when there's colors so let's start removing colors but in StarCraft 2, in the technical art department with the particles, they don't seem to understand that particles along with sound effects are some of the most major reads in the game, and maybe we shouldn't mask them behind a bunch of super high contrast flashing shit, but that's precisely what happens. Well, I so mean, just look at that, that fucking finale mission that we just played where you have those, like, 
deformities on the terrain that like just these particle effects that pop up from when Amon's going to destroy terrain a game changing event that could wipe out your entire 200 200 army because of the way fucking pathing works in this game and yet if it's happening over an area where the void crystal is hovering over and creating that damage field yep. that uses the exact same fucking particle system or one that's so close to it that it doesn't matter that there's a difference and you're just going to you that is a recipe for such insanity uh, couple of that with the fact that the audio cue is a global sound that could be playing anywhere. You're just yep. like you might as well just fucking put a gun to your head. Yep, and that's basically it. It was a huge disaster all around for all the technical art in this game. And and don't let Riot deceive you. Particle effects are not hard to do. They're very easy to do. Very very easy to do. I was astonished at how easy particle effects are to do. I first started in Warcraft Three, and yeah, Warcraft Three's user made tools aren't really that good, but um, you know, you use uh, blank boys tools in 3ds Max, you'll be right at home. And then I moved to Sins of a Solar Empire. Sins of a Solar Empire didn't even have child particles. Okay, it was actually more limited than Warcraft Three. Sins of a Solar Empire is literally like 2001 technology. You know what? It was still possible to make pretty good looking particle effects in that game. You just had to know how to manipulate textures. As long as you can make fume effects textures, you were armed for life. Enter StarCraft 2, you have access to 3DS Max. Yes, previewing is a pain in the ass because you've got to link it to the editor and you've got to press preview and wait like 10, 20 seconds for the editor to update. But um, you can still do it. And even just with a, like a couple days of experimentations, I had some great looking particle effects. And uh, all of them were using unique textures and they were very, very performance conscious using five, six, seven particles at a time as opposed to the 30, 40, 50, 60 plus that spawns on any given small effect within StarCraft. So they're also uh, significantly less strenuous on the CPU. And most of StarCraft's performance strain is on the CPU because the particles and everything else, that's all done on the CPU. And it's a single threaded monolith. It's going to hurt a lot when there's a lot of particles on the screen because other than overdraw, which is, you know, transparencies and stuff overlapping, the uh, the main hit is going to be actually calculating the movement of all the particles. So less is better. And it's perfectly possible to make great looking particles only using a few if you are actually using stuff to generate textures. And you know what? I'm like the least competent technical artist you're ever going to meet. I have no fucking idea what I'm doing. I may have a lot of experience, but I also have insane learning disabilities. And I know how to use fume effects to make these sheets. If I can do it, anybody can do it. I literally just walked in, watched a tutorial. I couldn't even get 3ds Max and fume effects to behave to the point where I could get shit to look proper in my own scenes. I had to download a tutorial. 3ds max scene render off of that and then manipulate that because that magically worked and i still to this day don't understand why and you know what i was able to produce dozens of animated sheets where you could drop them to low resolution and they still look great in particles and you can use those for sparks fireballs you know spell effects pretty much anything you want that needs some kind of motion to it and, and will be animated and you mix those with some stuff that's not animated when you don't need it to be animated and you save yourself a lot of strain on the CP and you got particle effects that look super good. And if you really wanted to, to see a, a company, a game that does particle effects pretty well, have a look at Lineage 2. So Lineage 2 is Unreal Warfare. That's like Unreal 2 era. That's fucking ancient. And then there's Terra. And there, that's Unreal 3. And their particle effects, I haven't seen a Western game even come close to those. Period. There, there hasn't been. And it all comes down to the fact that they had actual artists making their textures for them. And they animated around it in Unreal. And they made some really, really good looking shit. And it would be hard to do those in StarCraft 2 because you don't have access to the shaders. Uh, I think you might be able to do something with text files and shaders. But um, as, a, as an end user like myself, uh, you certainly don't have the kind of control over StarCraft 2 you do in Unreal. Because in Unreal, you make shaders. You know, you say, oh, I want this to be animated in a specific way. I'll just hop into the shader and compile my own fucking shader. Blizzard can do that, though, because they have the source. So nothing is saying they can't do that. But um, judging by a Diablo 3 uh, presentation at BlizzCon, uh, where a, a guy who was talking about how he wanted sliding uh, double layered uh, diffuse and how their artists, or not their artists, their programmers are saying it was too fucking performance intensive, even though it's like the most basic shit we've had since Quake 3 Arena. <laughs> they were telling him he couldn't do it because the, their engine couldn't handle it like that like that the fact they would even like publicly admit that they're that incompetent is like incredibly brazen but um 
I digress. It's uh, the technical art in this game is an absolute embarrassment. Blizzard had until you know World of Warcraft a track history of, of good technical art, and they threw it all away and they've never reclaimed it ever since. And they've only gotten worse and worse and worse and worse. Yeah, I'm very very tired, so I may be missing some shit. But what the like the ethos of what I'm getting here is that. Uh, it's just been like you said in your little recap there downhill since warcraft 3 for technical art this game has really awful technical art not just for reads but also for just general like consistency and uh, i guess quality or like the, the just the production value of stuff gets tossed away where even if there was effort put into the art the way that it's mangled by the technical implementation is always going to be a detraction and it's just fucked. Is that a fair summary? Yeah. Basically what I'm saying is that StarCraft 2's failure is absolute end to end. Like, I, I can't even think of any redeeming qualities in this. There's like individual things, individual deliveries, individual assets that are all right. But as a body, as a synthesis, this is bottom of the barrel and below. This is every bit as awful and disgusting as I had expected it to be. And I shouldn't need to, to expect this. I shouldn't need to walk into this and say, well, this is going to be disgusting. You know, I shouldn't expect that I won't be surprised by the quality of something. That That's terrible. And that's not even just being pessimistic. That's just being realistic. Because realistically, you can't expect Blizzard to deliver a high-quality product because they haven't done it for so many years. Just looking at the actual technical objective quality of the content they have released... Following Warcraft 3, one can only just wonder how they managed to sustain business at all. I mean, of course, you can always make the excuse, well, casuals don't care, there's brand loyalty, etc., etc., marketing, whatever you want, but it's still, at the end of the day, the only thing you wonder is just how absolutely insane all these people are to keep throwing money at something that's this terrible. And furthermore, to try to apologize for it. How do you get off apologizing for something that's fucking bad? Make all the excuses you want. You can't defend this on a technical level. Not at all. It's absolutely impossible. A demonstration, just looking at the content, is enough to refute any possible defense you have in this this product's favor. Yeah, I think that was like the most frustrating aspect of it for me is that people were were trying to apologize not for the their own like perspective on it like oh I, I it's a guilty pleasure or i like this part of it it was just like they were actually trying to argue against the point that it was objectively fucked technically fucked basically end to end mm. like you said well th i think this is the uh the end of my end and uh i'm gonna pass the fuck out but eventually i guess we'll be back with nova dude so yeah i'm, that I'm really look not looking forward to that <laughs> At least it'll be short. Post-release DLC, quote-unquote, always manages to somehow be that much worse, even when you don't think you can get that much. Well, if Legacy of the Void one-upped Heart of the Swarm, maybe Nova will one-up Legacy of the Void. Uh, <laughs> the possibility of that even being possible just sends my stomach into a turning friend. I real got my own fucking laundry mat and meat spin going on here. Meat spin. Spitting that meat, brother! She! <laughs>